I don't know what he's doing. Three seconds. Cade all the way. He dunks. All, all right. All right. All right. I have created my own NBA universe. Now, what the hell does that mean? Well, let me show you. I put every single NBA player back in their prime, made everybody 19 years old, and I drafted every single team. We'll get back to this in a second. I also turned off contracts because I love these teams. I drafted them. So why would I want players to leave? There are no trades either, no injuries, and no conferences. So you could play whoever the hell you want in the playoffs. I also removed some stupid stuff like a backcourt violation and foul outs. I got rid of those as well. As well as some other stuff I'll probably remember as we simulate because I can't remember. Now, how did I draft these teams, you ask? Well, obviously, as I've teased with LeBron James and the New York Knicks, that implies that they had the number one pick. I did a serpentine fantasy draft, and yes, yes, sir. God, I love how garbage you bastards are. The New York Knicks get the number one pick, followed by every other team with the worst winning percentage since 2000. So, you know, Wizards, Timberwolves, you know, the whole nine. And once again, I just drafted the starting lineup for this team. We'll start off with the Knicks. You got LeBron James, Iguodala, Jamal Murray, Buddy Heald, and the San White side. I'm going to try not to talk too much about every team because I, I already did that once and I, I cut the recording because I was talking too much. But I think you can understand my intentions with every team here to make sure we get some defense, some offense, all the above. Next up, here goes some defense. Giannis has hit a Kumpo and Jaron Jackson and Drew Holiday with Harrison Barnes and Tyrese Maxey to also give you buckets. Now I'm going in order of the picks, by the way. So the Wizards were number two and the next up was number three. And I went with, you know, they're not passing up on him again. Stephen Curry to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Alongside him, you get Julius Randle to be fake Draymond Green. Now this is only the the one season Julius Randle, you know? So screw it. He was the best player available on the board. If you don't know how a serpentine draft works, if you have the first pick in the draft, like how the Knicks had with LeBron, then you would have the 60th pick and the 61st pick. So 50 somewhat players go in between those picks. So it's not like I could have Curry and Kevin Durant again, which still could happen in real life like this week. But uh, Andrew Wiggins joins back Curry and same as Vucevic. He actually fell really far in the draft because he's awful at defense, but I um, thought he was an okay pick here. Not really, but I just kind of bet on them to figure it out. Durant, now this is a nicely built team. You got Jared Allen next to him, DeJounte Murray also for defense on the perimeter and playmaking, Jalen Brunson to give you some buckets, and Keldon Johnson to do the same. And most importantly, Durant to do, you know, number one option. You know how it is. Atlanta, Atlanta. You can't go with none other than Luka Doncic here. 95 overall, Luka makes his way to the fifth pick alongside Siakam and Middleton, two great, you know, secondary and third area options, or whatever the hell the word for that would be. Zubots to lock it down down low, and uh, DiVincenzo to also stretch the floor and play some defense and handle the ball a little bit. You know, he's like 6'2", 6 6'4", 6 whatever. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. I bought you guys, I brought you guys back a player who you just traded, James Harden. One of the greatest offensive players of all time. Dude scored like 60, 60 times in one season. And you get him a center because he loved to throw lobs to Clint Capella back in the day. Although they did start to, you know, stretch the floor with PJ Tucker, who's also here at Power Forward. Hell, if you guys want to do that again, so be it. He can play center. You got Brandon Ingram, who I feel like will be one of the best fits for Harden, better than, you know, Russell Westbrook was. And Josh Richardson to just play some defense and hit some threes, hopefully. He's actually got a really great three point rating. Next up, the Sacramento Kings. Kawhi Leonard is next up. One of the most dominant two way players ever. Ever. Alongside him, I had to get someone with playmaking because Kawhi kind of lacks in that, you know, facet of his game. And Mike Conley is that guy. Also, Al Horford to stretch the floor, play some defense at the five. Jay Crowder do the exact same with the four. And Kevin Porter Jr. to give some buckets whenever Kawhi's not feeling like it. Orlando, you could argue this guy could even go even higher. He probably helped. He could have. But, you know, I've seen Jokic sell me out in a lot of rebuilds. So I said, screw it. I'm letting him fall a little bit further. But hey, I also gave him one of the most beautiful supporting cast possible. Red Van Vliet, a proven scorer and defender. Same goes for Gordon Hayward back in his prime before, you know, he got a max contract before he, you know, broke his leg in half. And then and Dort and Cameron Johnson, two of the best young role players in the league. And of course, the benches do matter too. I know I didn't pick them, but uh, I do like this Colin Sexton pick. I almost picked him for this team over Dort. And then the CPU did it for me. As you can see, we're seeing a very balanced approach to these teams so far. You can let me know who the hell you think is the best once I'm done reading them all off. Next up, we got Chris Paul. Now, honestly, you can see on the top right, it says they're fifth in the power rankings, but I, I drafted this team to not be that good off rip. Oh yeah, by the way, there's no rookies, at least not of, of now. Maybe I'll bring them in in like the third or seventh year or something, but I, I just kind of want these teams to stay the same for now. That's something I forgot. I told you I'd bring up things as the video went on. And we'll obviously going with Anthony Edwards with our second pick kind of gives us, you know, a view of the future. He could be like a 93 to 95 overall, you know, and as time goes on, we also got Steven Adams at center. I, 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 Jonathan Isaac. Wow. I cannot speak. And Norman Powell at the two. It's a real solid fitting team around CP3, prime CP3. Next up in New Orleans, I already know who it's going to be. I love this New Orleans team, dog. One of my favorite teams on here. If I could ever score, let me see me struggling in the top right. It's Darius Garland, RJ Barrett, Josh Giddy, Joe Ingles, and Joel Embiid. A fantastically spaced team. Also, you get Darius Garland, one of the best young point guards. RJ Barrett could have decent potential himself. Same goes for Josh Giddy and Joe Ingles. Why not bring two Australians on the team to surround Joel Embiid's insane defensive and scoring presence? Memphis, you know, in real life, they got John Morant. And guess what? I, I drafted him the first coming of John Morant. Prime Derrick Rose is here on the Memphis Grizzlies. No injuries on for this video, so it's going to be your world and we're just living in it. I drafted him. Bam out of bio with the next pickup. You know, D. Rose isn't known for his defense. Uh, Bam could, you know, stretch the floor a little bit, hit a mid-range here or there, and of course, play some great defense. 
defense. Jerry and Grant going to play the forward. DeAndre Hunter can play some great offense and defense. And Karis LeVert to also get some buckets. A lot of these higher picked guys like Derrick Rose, you know, this is like a top 10 pick in the draft or whatever. The teams aren't going to look too great all around compared to like a 16th pick. But it's because we're waiting where the teams are contingent their success on a guy like Derrick Rose actually performing. So we'll see what happens. And obviously, as we go on, you can see the order that I'm picking players in. Next up, we went with a 95 overall Russell Westbrook. Honestly, you can go him or Rose, but because he was one overall lower, I went with Rose first. You can argue on that yourself. That was just the roster I downloaded in 2K's ratings. But with Westbrook, we got DeAndre Aiden, Tobias Harris, Danny Green. So some nice shooters and whatever, you know, a nice big man presence for Russell. He always loved working with Steven Adams. Well, now you got yourself some a guy with even more offensive skill. And then at the two, I couldn't pass up getting Patrick Beverly. Just really load up on the defense and give you some, you know, shooting on the wing or perimeter or whatever. And, you know, him and Russell Westbrook in the backcourt, man, oh man. You know, I think it's pretty obvious that this team only has like one secondary wing score with uh, Tobias Harris, but it's Westbrook's team and Westbrook doesn't like to pass. He's a pretty ball dominant player. So I thought that, you know, giving him just a, a big man that could score a little bit and a wing that could score a little bit would be kind of cool. And some defensive players to hold it down. Next, I would make our way to Philadelphia and oh man, guess who it is? Carmelo Anthony. Oh wow, they gave him number seven too. This is a Nuggets mellow for sure, but they gave him, no, actually maybe it's not, I don't know. He's the cornrows though. And next to Melo, I really, I, this team is one of the weirdest teams on here for sure. We got Christian Wood at center, but next to him, we got Ben Simmons to combat, you know, his lack of a defensive presence. Wood's overall was really high. It's probably, I mean, it's an 85. And he's got really good shooting numbers, so I decided to pick him up. And alongside them, you got Alex Cruz to play some defense at the two and Cade Cunningham at the one. So this is definitely a team to look out for at the very least. It's got just enough spacing, just enough defense, and just, just, just enough scoring. Wow, I can't speak. Detroit basketball, you got yourself Anthony Davis. You got a nice young power forward and Jared Vanderbilt, Tim Hardaway Jr. to, you know, just chuck up some threes here and there. Jalen Brown, one of the best wing scorers in the league. And De'Aaron Fox, a young promising 88 overall point guard. Can't go wrong for that core with AD. It's probably better than anything ever had in New Orleans. It's definitely better, actually. Let me take that, that you know, that thought. I think we're at like pick 14 here, so we're still, you know, halfway through. And Shea Gildas Alexander makes his way back to the Clippers alongside Jimmy Butler, who was their first round pick. You also get, I, I like, you know, getting a little Serge Ibaka action at center. He's like six foot 10, so I think he'll be just fine there. Uh, Udonis Haslam, a prime Udonis Haslam was an 84 overall in the draft. I said, sure, why the hell not? And guess what? He's got an 88 mid-range shot. I feel like that's decent enough to work next to, you know, Butler and them. Everybody else in the starting lineup could shoot. You got Terry Rozier to just drop some buckets to the two. A pretty common theme here is just having a guy that's like an 81 overall that can just drop some buckets to the two. Oh, they also drafted Seth Curry. That's kind of cool. Milwaukee was next up, and for them, thought it'd be pretty interesting. You know, they've been running a little, well, at least they were running James Harden next to Kyrie with James at the point, or when they could. They didn't really play together a lot. But now we've got Kyrie at the two, Lonzo Ball at the one, one of the best playmakers and defensive players in the league. Outside of that, I drafted six foot ten Franz Wagner at the power forward, Dylan Brooks, who could loves to chuck him up some shots, and Brook Lopez, a prime Brook Lopez, who was averaging no 21 points per game back in the day. Nothing prolific, but it could definitely work. I feel like they're pieced together pretty pretty nicely. Golden State, you know, even though even their last 10 years success, they still find themselves like number 16 in this draft. Probably the best team of the last 10 years, but yeah. And guess what? I really, I am a huge fan of this team. Damian Lillard is back in Oakland, where he's from. With the next pick, I decided to go with LaMarcus Aldridge and pair them back up together. He was the best player available. Then I got Evan Mobley to play center, because, you know, him and Aldridge are both like primary power forwards, but I felt like, you know, Aldridge, yeah, well, you get it. it. It just, it fits nicely. And then you get OG and Will Barton at the two and the three. Toronto, Paul George is the star of this team. He's also got a prime Kemba Walker from the Charlotte Hornets and Andre Drummond at the center. I don't know why Marquise Chris was such a good overall, but I said, screw it. I'll take Marquise Chris. They gave him like a really good jump shot. And um, I said, hey, you could space the floor. I'm not mad at it. I mean, I'll take advantage of what we got. And Jalen Suggs got some potential on him. 82 overall shooting guard who could defend pretty decently and exist and all that. Oh yes. The Phoenix Suns. Now Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas actually slipped to the second round. The main guy of this team is, of course, Dwight Howard. He's only a 93 overall, but screw it. You know, he'll still do his Dwight Howardly things. And, you know, I went with Isaiah Thomas with their next pick in the second round, which is pretty soon after. I thought th if there's any team that he'd fit perfectly with, you know, because I passed up on him for a lot of teams because, you know, he's 5'9 and he can't play defense. But if Dwight Howard is protecting the paint, you'll probably be all right. Devin Vassell is a pretty good defender on the wing. Got Tyrese Halliburton to play the two. He's a pretty tall guy. And John Collins to stretch the floor at the four and get some buckets. I feel like an IT and Dwight Howard duo is pretty cool, though. Oklahoma City. You got John ja Morant, Carl Anthony Towns, and Paul Millsap with Desmond Bain and Otto Porter. I don't think much more needs to be said about this team except like th this is pretty good. Hell, they might be the best. Who knows? Desmond and uh, Ja back together. You got yourself a lot of spacing on this team. Paul Millsap's a solid defender to combat for Towns not being one really. You got a 95 interior defense, way better than the power forward average. And Otto Porter, one of the better shooters of this, uh, you know, past decade. Just, you know, has trouble staying healthy, but uh, we don't got to worry about that around here. Portland is next up. And for them, I decided to, you know, not really reach a little bit, but a, a couple 92 overalls left on the board and I still went with Zion Williams in the first round 
because we know Zion. I think it's viable that he still fell this far, even though we know that he could end up being the best player in here. But this is a solid pick for him. And right after him, I went with Kyle Lowry to run the offense. CJ McCollum to, you know, be CJ McCollum at the two. He's also, I mean, I would say he has chemistry with Zion, but he really doesn't. They haven't played together yet in real life. Miles Turner to play some defense at center. He's going to get some blocks because Zion's not really known for his defense, at least as of right now in the league. Although I feel like he should just start jumping up and blocking every shot sooner than later. And TJ Warren, another guy to just, you know, provide a perimeter threat on the wing. The Indiana Pacers, you know, made a, made the finals, uh, you know, about, a, you know, once, once or twice back in the early 2000s. I can't remember the exact number right now. And Marcus Gasol was their first round pick. They made him a 93 overall. And I said, screw it. You know what? You probably were never this high of an overall. You probably don't deserve this high of an overall, but you were a DPOY. You're like a fake Jokic. So screw it. And with Gasol, I felt like we built this team really nicely around. This could be, you know, it's a bunch of sleeper players like DeMar DeRozan's here at the three. He fell to the second round as well. Eric Bledsoe is a solid little point guard for them. Eric Gordon used to get some buckets back in his day. Actually, he still does. But now they just come by, you know, just shucking threes all the time. And Bojan Bogdanovic play the four. Denver, Denver, Denver. We went with Blake Griffin here. Could honestly just be like a Zion clone in the simulation. Who knows? But alongside him, we got a uh, Zach Levine, you know, a great scorer. D'Angelo Russell, Derek White to, you know, run the defense. Because, yeah, this team, I, I realized actually after like four picks, I'm like, holy hell. Sure, Kristaps can block a shot and Zach Levine can dunk on you. But this team doesn't have a lot of, you know, true on-ball defense. So I was like, holy hell, let's go and get Derek White to just round this out. Because he was the best defender left on the board at that point. Also, they drafted Davion, you know, Mr. O. Off night. Is that what his name is? Off the bench? So, yeah. Houston, Houston, Houston. The Marcus Cousins finds himself in the first round. And shortly after was a Donovan Mitchell pick. Nice little duo form there. You also got Michael Porter Jr., one of the best scorers already. You know, shot over 50% when he was healthy. Marcus Smart to play some defense on the perimeter. I mean, also play point guard. I, I honestly, I'd probably like this the other way around, but screw it. I'll, I'll just do this. There you go. Fantastic. Problem solved. And Dwight Powell at power forward. Um, bit of an unorthodox pick, but he could shoot the three a little bit and play some defense. And Boogie isn't the best defender. Neither is Michael Porter Jr. So I said, screw it. Give me as much defense as we could get. Also got Diallo off the bench, who for some reason is 81, but he could probably play some defense too. And we're starting to get down to the final picks of this draft. The LA Lakers. Clay Thompson finds himself falling kind of low, right? But it's because he's not known as a, you know, dribbler or whatever. So I had to, you know, prioritize the other guys as like an actual prime, you know, number one option stars or whatever. And Clay Thompson and becomes one of the last picks of the first round to the Lakers. And then shortly after, we decide, hey, LaMelo Ball. We need someone to set him up. There you go. One of the best, one, one of the best probably passers ever, honestly. He's, he's already getting there. Clint Capella to play some defense down low. Rudy Gay is here to get some buckets on the wing because, you know, don't have too much of that here. And same goes for Bogdan to just shoot some threes over you, just like Clay will. You know, just, they're just twins. Also, why not get Bobby Portis off the bench? Good for you guys. Boston, Boston, Boston. You know, just have their second finals or actually third finals appearance of the past 20 years. Well, for them, I went with Trey Young, you know, a little cold blood a dog. One of the last picks in the first round. Alongside him, you got Victor Oladipo, who I thought was a great pick next to him because he needs some defense. And, you know, I loved Victor Oladipo personally when he was in his prime. I thought he was actually underrated even then. Mitchell Robinson, we need a defender down low for sure. We also got Mikhail Bridges, another defender on the wing. Just a bunch of guys to space the floor for Oladipo and Trey Young to create. And also you got Kyle Kuzma because he had to get picked eventually. Played pretty well this season in Washington. I'm not saying he's some sort of great player or something, but yeah. Oh yeah, and they also got Yusuf Nurkic, which I didn't pick, but screw it. Left him on the board and uh, they took advantage of it. Solid six, man. The Utah Jazz, man. Not one finals appearance in these past 20, yet they're still one of the best teams re record-wise. And here they are. We went with Kevin Love, a prime Kevin Love to play power forward, next to Rajon Rondo, a guy to set him up in all the positions, you know what I'm saying? Just get him in the right spots. Tyler Hero, same goes for him, honestly. He'll probably get some nice off-ball sets for him. Kelly Oubre to shoot the basketball, and James Wiseman, who's an 83 overall. I don't know why, but he would have himself some decent potential anyways, so um, got him to uh, be James Wiseman, whatever the hell that means. At the at the center spot. Probably a sleeper team here, honestly. I feel like everybody kind of is, though, because that's how I built them. For this one, now, I've been talking to some people lately, and I, I, I've been put on to the fact that Jalen Green was incredible in the second half of the season. He looks like he could be one of the best scorers within the next few years or whatever. So you've got him and Bradley Beal, who's a guy he's often compared to. Plus, Draymond Green to set them up. A bit of a point guard presence. Got Reggie Jackson at the point guard as well. And DeMontis Sabonis at center. You know, you got two playmaking bigs, guys that can score, and just a serviceable PG. I really like to see how the uh, Beal and Green duo is going to work out in years to come. Second to last, uh, not least, Dallas. Devin Booker and Rudy Gobert were there. I honestly forget which order I picked them in, but uh, I would assume Booker was first. Honestly, maybe Gobert was. I, I don't really remember. But that's a great, you know, shooting guard and center, defense to offense duo. Then alongside them, you get Rubio to set up Booker in all the easiest spots that he can get. He used to play back with him, you know, in the Phoenix Suns days, like three years ago before they got CP. Scotty Barnes, you know, the rookie of the year. Yeah, you, you forget about him. He's here at the power four. We'll see how he can do for himself in the future. And Joe Harris to just shoot the basketball. Hopefully, don't play like how you did in that net series in the semifinals a few years ago. And of course, who else could be the final team than the team with, I still think, the most rings in the past 20 years, right? I mean, 
and they got they won five rings. The San Antonio Spurs. We go with John Wall at the point guard slot. Jason Tatum, or actually, I, I would assume Tatum went before Wall. I really don't know. I don't remember. They were the last two picks in the draft, or the last two picks for the first round ended. So who cares? Back to back, Jason Tatum and John Wall. Then you get Jonas Valanciunas had a really nice season with the Pelicans this year in real life. You also get Malcolm Brogdon handle the ball a little bit, get you some buckets. And Trevor Reza was actually the first player in this entire draft that I drafted that was under an 80 overall. But he's got like an, a 90 plus a three point shot, 87 that works. Fit well for this team. And he has some prior experience with Mr. Wall. So yeah, that is it. That is my NBA universe I've created. I've ran you down, you know what I'm saying? Every single team ran through the list of them. And as you can tell, yeah, there's no like clear cut one best team. We can look at the power rankings real quick before we get started. I know I've already been rambling a lot about the team. Screw it. Let's go with 2K Sports. Well, Eric thinks that the Knicks are the best. Thank you, Eric. But this guy thinks that the Lakers are the best. This guy thinks that the Raptors are the best with Kemba and Paul George. So we'll just see what happens. Shout out to this guy who said I was watching Frank Nilakina get abducted by aliens on YouTube and he reminded me to subscribe. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, with all the work the dog put in, this video is really fun to set up, but hey, I don't even know what the free agents are looking like either. Oh, so there's just nobody. Okay, cool. You know, I appreciate if you dog subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hit uh, 27 subscribers soon, maybe tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I'll throw a big birthday party for the channel. Yeah, the point of this video was just not like, you know, of course I could have just like simulated the draft and been like, oh yeah, there's my team. But I wanted like an emotional connection to every single team. And here you have the all-star teams, by the way. Derek Rose an all-star captain. So maybe I underrated him, drafted him too low. Who knows? I just scrolled this team on the top right. You can see they're the fifth in the conference. It's kind of cool. But yeah, you got your all-star starters, all-star bench, whatever the hell. Any surprises? I don't know. I think these were all like first round, maybe early second round players. Oh yeah, D-Rose averaging 30 and 10. But Harden's averaging 37 and 11. Westbrook's averaging 34, 11 and 10. His little triple double. Jokic is doing the same with his triple double. Dame is averaging 35 and bronze averaging 28, 11 and 8. Oh, yeah, there's no conferences, just all teams. And look at how closely packed it is. And the Warriors. Oh, wow. The Damian Lillard, LaMarcus and Eric Evan Mobley team is doing fantastic. Oh, I just saw they, they drafted Simons too. I did not know that. Are any teams bad? Trey Young Celtics are bad. Oh, I'm not. I guess I'm not surprised, surprised, but I don't know. I don't know. They. I guess they started a Nurkic over Robinson. You do you, I guess, whatever. We'll look back through these at the end. But yeah, the, some of these are surprising me that they're not doing as good, honestly. The Isaiah Dwight Howard ain't working. Come on, dog. You're hating. James Harden, the most valuable player in a league full of the best players. He is him. Cade Cunningham, rookie of the year next to Carmelo Anthony doing his job. Robert Williams, sixth man of the year. Good for you. Giannis wins DPOI. Tyrese Maxey most improved on Giannis's team. Gave him a, you know, bigger offensive role next to, you know, with Drew and whatever. Gave him the point guard role and all that. Tyron Lue. Look, okay, so that's how you know it was a well-balanced league. The best team was only 52 and 30. First team is Harden, Westbrook, LeBron, Carmelo, and Jokic. The second team was Love, Embiid, Giannis, Lillard, and Rose. And the third team, Doncic, Ball, Butler, Durant, and Davis. Let me address this too. I can actually, you know, this could become a series and then like I make my own universe with like all time, the best players or whatever, put in the all time rosters. But I wanted to do just the current players in their prime because I felt like it's a nice balance of talent. It's not too much. It's not too little talent. I didn't want to just do like current players and be nerding out over like Robert Covington or something, but I could do it in the future. Maybe all defensive first team. You got Bledsoe, Oladipo, Giannis, Kawhi. This is actually interesting because I, I like was trying to draft defensive players. So here you go. Here's the best ones. Iguodala was good. Def I mean, the uh, rookie teams are how you would expect. They actually, wow. Jalen Green only made the second team, bro. Come on, dog. You averaged 15 though. You did your job. All right. So once again, no conferences uh, here. We'll see, you know, I believe I turned off the playing game. Yeah, I did. Screw the playing game. We don't care about that garbage. Yeah, just, just get straight to it, bro. We're not we're not here for all that. Honestly, next year, 2K, I might just turn it off permanently. But uh, the Denver Nuggets. Oh, wow. The worst defensive team that I drafted ended up 27 and 55. The worst. And the Pelicans, who I loved, I guess, you know, they maybe they need a second to get, you know, Josh Giddy and RJ up and overall. But I love this Pelicans team and they didn't do all that. The Mavericks, I'm not too surprised this team not doing too great. It's just D-Book and Gobert and Ricky Rubio. I, you know, I needed some more scoring on this one. But the hope is that Scotty Barnes can, you know, blossom into that within a couple of years. Trey Young just couldn't do it by himself, I guess. I don't know what Ola, Ola Depot's okay, but yeah, Trey Young was trying to carry. Holy hell. He didn't play that bad though, but it's, you know, it's, it's a tough league we're in. Kyrie Irving couldn't hold it down with his team. I guess they were a little bit weaker. Reggie Jackson. Yeah. See this team I have hopes for, but maybe it'll take a little bit longer. Got a lot of hope for them. Draymond too. He's even putting up some buckets. It's not that bad for Draymond. That's true. This is a 2016 Draymond as well, or something of that nature. I did say Chris Paul's team wasn't going to be that good. So uh, that's okay. That's fine. Edwards just, you know, waiting for you to come around. Zion's team. I, you know, I guess I did reach on the Zion pick, but that was on purpose to wait for him. But uh, I'm, I'm actually surprised that they didn't do better. Okay. See, John Morant. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly really surprised this team didn't do better. Dwight Howard, Isaiah duo couldn't make the playoffs. Kawhi couldn't make the playoffs, which is interesting. You would think he'd be able to do that. I, uh, this team looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This team probably should have made it. Kevin Porter Jr. Like exactly what I wanted. He averaged 17, same as he did in real life. Even got Markel Fultz off the bench playing decent. The Rockets, Donovan. 
Donovan and Boogie couldn't make it. Another solid team. KD couldn't make the playoffs. Another great team, bro. You got three guys, 87 plus overall. Jalen Brunson averaged 13. Keldon Johnson averaged 12. DeJounte, 17. Jared Allen, 12. And the Raptors, the final team not make the playoffs. And another pretty solid one. We know how good Andre Drummond is in 2K2. Bro averaged 20. Paul George averaged 25. And Kemba averaged 21. And how the hell didn't they make? Man, Jalen Suggs was awful, I guess. And Marquise Chris, okay. But uh, for the teams that made it, we'll see what they do. Let's simulate. So wait, hold. The Clippers might win in four right here. But so far, not one team has got swept. There it is. The Magic Jokic's team that I, I thought was great. Um, They, they got cooked. 4-0 sweep by Jimmy Butler's team. Wow. The number one seed in the league. Actually, we should just look at those real quick. The, yeah, the best team in the league is that Jimmy Butler, Shea, Seth Curry, Udonis Haslam, Ibaka, Terry Rozier. They're starting Seth over Terry. Ain't that bad. I respect that. And then Steph Curry's team was second with, uh, you know, Julius Randle, the GOAT. And LeBron was third. And Golden State was fourth. The Damian Lillard, LaMarcus, oh, Evan Mobley team. All right, next up, the Pacers lose in uh, five games. That is the Marcus All. Sol solid run. Solid run. You know what I'm saying? You actually were the higher seed, but, you know, it don't really matter like that in this league. Jason Tatum takes the wins. Him and John Wall take the win. And it looks like Minnesota's about to get upset in the first round by Washington. Randall dropped 41. Curry dropped two for 13. R Julius Randall was carrying this team. Holy hell, look at his numbers. 27, 11, and 6 on the regular season. Same as the playoffs. He averaged more points than Steph. What the hell? But they lose to Giannis. You can't be mad at that, dog. That's the second pick. And the Sixers also get upset. That's uh, that's Melo losing to uh, Luka. The Cavaliers upset the Nets. That's Russell Westbrook beating James Harden. Okay. The Knicks have been eliminated. LeBron James loses to Utah. Who was on Utah again? Is that a... Uh, I, I don't remember, honestly. Kevin Love and Rajon Rondo. I did say they were a sleeper team. They are going to defeat LeBron's team. As in game six, uh, anybody sell on this team? Iguodala, three for 11. Eh. And last but not least, we got two game sevens. Lakers versus Pistons. Anthony Davis versus Klay Thompson and LaMelo Ball in them. AD was one of the most dominant players in the league back when he was on the Pelicans. So, um, you know, a healthy AD with a great supporting cast. Is that enough to defeat Klay Thompson, LaMelo? It is not. Jalen Brown, AD, and De'Aaron Fox lose to LaMelo Ball's 36 and 12. De'Aaron had 26 and 10 and AD had 30 and 11, but it was not enough. And Golden State versus Memphis. That is Damian Lillard versus Derrick Rose. I'm, I'm probably not going to do this in-depth thing for every single year, by the way, but I felt like doing it for year one. And the Warriors, Damian Lillard is going to come out on top. Rose made a pretty valiant effort, it looks like. But uh, yeah, Memphis is out of here. Aldridge, 32 points. Lillard, 25 and 12. And Rose, 21 and 10 in the elimination game. You know, there could have been questions about a supporting cast, but it looks like they did just fine. Make it this far, you know what I'm saying? A game seven in the first round is, is pretty impressive for this league, specifically. Next up, we got the Cavs versus the Warriors. That's Russell Westbrook versus Lillard. The Jazz versus the Pacers. It's actually two pretty solid all-around teams. You got Gasol and DeRozan against Kevin Love and Rondo. The Lakers versus Clippers. That's uh, Shea versus LaMelo, Clay versus uh, Jimmy Butler, and the Wizards versus the Hawks. That's Luka Doncic against Giannis. Whoa, wow. Okay, we got a lot of dream matchups. I'm not gonna lie in this first round. And the Pacers were swept. DeRozan and, uh, oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Sorry, DeRozan. I don't, I don't mean to, like, you know, bag on you like that, but, you know. Well, actually, it was Marc Gasol, though. I mean, DeRozan did have eight turnovers, but Gasol shot five for 14 in game four. I saw a little run, but Kevin Love is looking different. Oh, my God. He averaged eight assists. He's averaging eight assists in the playoffs. Where the hell did this come from? We are in the LeBron Kevin Love era. I mean, he did beat LeBron. The Lakers are going to win 4-0 against, or my bad, the Clippers are going to win 4-0 against the Lakers. That's um Jimmy Butler and Shea. They're going to get Clay, Rudy, and LaMelo out of here. The Warriors are going to be defeated by Russell Westbrook. 56 and 14, the elimination game to Dames 37 and 10. Westbrook wins this round. He was the lower seed by what is that, eight seeds? And the Hawks against the Wizards is going to game seven. For a refresher, that, that's Luka versus Giannis. Here we go. Luka's Hawks are Giannis's Wizards. Who will it be? It looks like Giannis Clay out and Luca is selling. That's what it's looking like at least. Although the fourth quarter score is just dead tied right now. Oh wow it got really close to the end but Luca is going to lose. Harrison Barnes the GOAT 29 points. Luca 26 and 12. We're moving on to the conference finals. Giannis versus the god Kevin Love at least so far that's what it's looking like. And Russell Westbrook against Jimmy Butler. Two real rugged playing bastards and wow I can't believe how well this supporting cast for Westbrook has worked out although he did have to drop half of 100 in the last game. But can he dethrone this insane Clippers team. I, hey, Westbrook, you have all my respect in the world if you about to do this. He did it. And Kevin Love so has dethroned um, the Wizards. So now we have Giannis loses, Jimmy Butler loses to these two guys. The Love, Rondo, James Wiseman, and Hero Trio or Quadro or whatever the hell that's called versus Westbrook, his two shooters on the wing, Harris and Aiden. Westbrook and Patrick Beverly, the greatest backcourt of all time. Here we go. I'll be, I didn't expect either of these teams, but you would expect teams with like even higher picks to be up here like Braun or Giannis or whatever, but hey, that's just how this league's gonna go. I bet this 
is an entirely different result next year. All right, I think somebody's at the line for one more of these. It is Robert Williams in the game. Oh, I think I gotta turn off fatigue too. If you turn off fatigue, it tends to let like the starters stay in the game later and instead of doing some stupid rotational stuff. But yeah, Rob Will ain't all that bad though. All right, I think I've just subconsciously went back to the 2K camera angle recently. It's just been feeling right. Westbrook, oh wow, the easy. Where was James Wiseman going? What was my dog doing? Holy, he fell asleep on defense. Let Aiden go right by him, the young man. Hey man, Aiden, hopefully you get your bag in real life, dog, for the sake of your pockets. Rondo brings it up. He's gonna get the screen pick and roll. Deadly pick and roll probably with him and Kevin Love. It's got to, it's it has him in the finals, so. But hell, Love might be averaging more assists. He has 33 on 40% in this game. Westbrook again bringing up the court against Rondo to the basket. He has also had beef with Rondo, and oh my God. Westbrook with the worst shot of all time that makes it into the basket. They take a four-point lead. Rondo now running it again with Love down low. Kevin takes it, and he makes it. I don't know why Kevin Love is guarded by Danny Green currently, but um, I can't control that. It's because they have Love at the three. Oh my God. Westbrook, the step back three. No way in hell. Russell Westbrook, he's him. Russell Westbrook is taking the most unorthodox Russell Westbrook shots and cooking. Kevin Love posting up. He's going to take the fadeaway. That is off. And Westbrook looking like he might carry his way to his first championship. You know, actually, I'll, I'll go on my rant in a second. Let's uh, wait for them to double team Patrick Beverly, leaving Danny Green wide open in the corner. And that hasn't worked out very well in other final series, well, except for the Spurs one. But, you know, the Lakers kind of lost a, a game because of, you know, him missing a wide open shot. But uh, now Rondo, a fadeaway three. What the hell? That's like a park move. I ain't seen. I did not think Rondo was about to take that. I, we ain't never seen Rondo shoot. Patrick Beverly at the line to seal the game. His both free throws. The game is over for sure. That is it. A three point win. Kevin Love 35. Westbrook 36, 10, and 13. I was going to say, you know, as critical as I am of Westbrook's play style, and as much as he wants, makes me want to hit my head on the wall every single time I watch him play, I do respect how he carried that awful Thunder team to the playoffs, even though they got cooked by the real MVP, James Harden. Don't talk to me. Uh, uh, don't hate me. Uh, 130, 119 win for the Jazz, even though Westbrook had 43. Kevin Love's 27 and 20. A very Kevin Love game is going to leave them to the second game win. Okay, there you go. 128, 117 Cavaliers. Honestly, I'm rooting for Westbrook. I can't lie. 49, 8, 9. He's putting on a master class in this playoffs, which isn't always the case. Here we go. Another win. 110, 100 for Aiden Westbrook and Tobias Harris. Kevin Love, another great game. I got to respect how well you're playing, but uh, Rondo shot 5 for 13. Actually, Tobias shot 5 for 18. So what am I talking about? Another loss for the Cavs. No way in hell Westbrook's about to blow a 3-1 lead. He had eight steals. He almost had a quad double. And there it is. The Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland, this is for you. Russell Westbrook is your savior. I'm not going to jump in. We've seen this celebration 47 times, but uh, Westbrook 34, 16, 11. We're already seeing him in action, hitting some of the most clutch shots, actually, to close out a game. And that is it. Records another triple double, this one being with a 34, 16, and 12. And Russell Westbrook, a guy who has no championships, wins his first ever championship in the league of all leagues. Congratulations. And I drafted your team. That's right, buddy. I gave you Tobias. I gave you Aiden. I birthed your team. I gave you Pat Bev and, and Danny Green, buddy. But that's the point. I'm rooting for all of these teams. <laughs> you could tell me what team you picked, unless you just picked your favorite team, probably, or your favorite player, or you're just a LeBron fan who was like 10 years old when he was already won three championships. You're like, oh my God, I've been loving LeBron since I was an infant. No, you didn't have a thought process. You didn't have critical, think critical thinking abilities. Uh, I didn't look at the, uh, what's it called? The Wait, Theo Pinson retired? How dare you retire at 20 years old? Hey, the draft lottery, I'm telling you right now, I'll bring in the draft in a few years, but I want my league to say stagnant for now. It's my league. Remember that? Just watch this. Watch watch how, how nothingness this leaves you with. Nothing. 40 year old, 40 40 overalls bums bums i say don't don't sign these guys don't even you know what don't even sign these guys screw all of them there you go i just unsigned every single one no no purpose of the draft no team options ao no contracts no bev charles bassey who you ain't getting watch how fast this goes see ya now players will progress but i'm not gonna lie i did turn morale off i don't want like you know players getting insanely better just off the strength of stupidity but there's they're gonna get better i mean look at booker becoming a 93 overall at 20 here we go again another year i didn't even look at the stats last year for no Nobody. I'm dumb. Don't worry. We, we got more years to go. Team Nikola Jokic and Team Derrick Rose. Kevin Love is an all-star starter. Any new guys? I don't... They all look... LaMelo Ball made it. I mean, if that's a surprise, I don't think so. Him and Klay Thompson look like a fantastic LA duo, but, uh, you know, didn't make it all the way. James Harden wins back-to-back -back MVPs. Corey Kispert, Rookie of the Year, because, well, uh, there is no rookies, and he just didn't play last year, probably. I was an astounding three. Look at Dwight Howard getting his DPOY crown. Want to count his last career? This would be the fifth time, but, you know, it's his first and most improved. Scotty Barnes. There we go. Needed that for Devin Booker. 50 and 32. So the league is getting even more well-rounded as last year. I think it was 52 and 30. Harden, Westbrook, Love, James, and Jokic. Doncic, Rose, Anthony, Durant, and Towns. Ball, Lillard, Antetokounmpo, Leonard, and Howard in the third team. And then defense is defense, so on and so forth. And uh, oh yeah, there's no all-rookie teams. It's kind of funny. They didn't even like like fake make one, just for Corey Kispert. Okay, so the Knicks were the best team in the league this year. We can't see you guys get
get bounced first round again. I mean, that was pretty dumb, you know? Utah is second. James Wiseman got three overalls better. So did Kevin Love. Harden's got Brandon Ingram putting up some more buckets this year. They're the third best team. They're the only teams with 50 wins. All three had 50 on the dot. Let's just see who the worst is real quick. Oh, wow. Zion's team was the worst team in the league. That is crazy. This team is a real solid team. And then Denver. Oh, yeah. No, this, this team is cooked. I'm not going to lie. Ayo, Zach, D'Angelo, Blake Griffin. Oh, Blake Griffin is doing nothing. I was about to say, it's his shot tendency. He got a 95 shot tendency and he ain't doing nothing. Russell averaging 19. I mean, they're sure they're all averaging 19, but like, dog, they might be cooked. And the Heat, okay, Jalen Green got way better this year, but they're still garbage. So uh, we'll have to wait some lo a little longer for them. AD's Pistons, didn't they have like a pretty decent run? They were in the seven, game seven last year, but they lost. Or my bad, they were awful. Rockets, I don't know what the hell they're doing. They put Marcus Smart on the bench. I'll fix that, don't worry. But they, hey man, I don't think that's what's holding you back. That's it, we're just gonna simulate now, see what happens. We're gonna let these first rounds rock and go out. We don't gotta like sim cast or nothing in the first round. Pelicans are gone, Cavaliers, Lakers. So Clay Thompson's out of here. The Grizzlies as Derek Rose out of here. Magic, I'm drawing a blank on who that was. 76ers, Carmelo Anthony gets eliminated. The Jazz, is that Kevin Love getting bounced first round? And the Knicks get bounced first round again. Kevin Love gets bounced to Steph Curry and Julius Randle. They get their revenge from them losing, getting upset last year. And then uh, Iguodala and Melo lose to Jimmy Jimmy Butler. And wow, Jimmy Butler and Shea fell to the 16th seed after being the best team in the league last year. Yeah, this league is ever, just ever changing. I kind of breezed through a couple of those, but let's just look at the next round matchups. Pacers versus Hawks. You got Luka Doncic versus DeMar and Marcus Gasol. They make it back to the second round again. Suns, Isaiah Thomas and Dwight Howard make it to the second round with Tyrese. And they're going to be playing uh, Steph Curry and Julius and Vucevic. This one should be interesting because Steph is far and away one of the best players in the league. But the other teams look a little bit better. Kawhi Leonard, you were awful last year. It's nice to see you back in the mix this year. Kawhi versus Jimmy Butler. Both teams look really nice and well-rounded. You know what I'm saying? And the Kings versus the, oh, my bad, the Nets versus the Bucks. Kyrie Irving makes it to the second round against James Harden. Also, I don't know where Russell Westbrook even is. Russell Westbrook was the Grizzlies, right? No, what, what team was he again? It's hard because now, now I can't even keep track of the conferences. But it looks like, oh, he was the Cavaliers. He was the Cavaliers. They lost in the first round of Brooklyn. So James Harden got him out of here this year. I remember uh, Westbrook beat Harden last year. So uh, he got his revenge in five, uh, four games, actually. One of the only sweeps. Let's see now what happens. 3-1. Wow, we got 2-3-1. Suns are out of here. Bucks are out of here. So Kyrie's out of here. And Isaiah and Dwight couldn't do it to Steph. So now we're going to have a James Harden and Steph Curry conference finals. The Hawks are gone. Luka loses to DeMar and Marcus Gasol. I guess, you know, they have enough Euro Europeans over there. Well, they have like two. But Luka did drop 50 in the final game of the series in game six. Yet they still lost. So you can't really, you know, fault them for this one. Game a good support, a good enough supporting cast. Hell, I don't know. And the Clippers versus Kings. I think this, this is Kawhi versus Jimmy Butler. And it looks like Kawhi is running away with it. But wait, they're coming back. The Kings win uh, by uh, convincingly 25 points. Kevin Porter Jr., 35 points. I told you, hey, he's there to get some buckets. Why do you all have six assists? It's kind of weird. You're not Drake. Jimmy Butler shot six for 19. One of the best playoff performers this year in real life. But um, yeah, in the game, uh, I guess you're a bit of a sellout. Maybe. No, no, actually, no. You played fantastic up until this point. This point, though. And now we have, like I said, Steph versus James Harden. One hell of a matchup. Pretty equal teams here. Randall versus Ingram. Two former Lakers in real life. And Vucevic versus DeAndre. And then you got Pacers Kings. Kawhi Leonard versus DeMar DeRozan. Ah, yes. The Raptors cores meet each other, you know? The one that failed and the one that succeeded. But who will succeed in winning this series? Oh, my God. Curry is up 3-0 on the right side over there. He is going to sweep James Harden. Harden the MVP twice now. Loses in the conference finals. I don't remember when he got eliminated last year. Oh, he got eliminated in first round last year. But Curry drops 27-7. and seven. Hell, that doesn't even... Hey, hey look. It's, the, it's a team effort. You know, Wiggins has averaging 16. Randall's... Oh, yeah, right. Randall's the real leader. I'd be forgetting about that. Randall averages 28-9-5. and five. And Jordan Poole with 14 off the bench. Vucevic with 18. And it looks like uh, the, the Indiana Pacers are going to make it to the finals. So we now have DeRozan defeats Kawhi. And we got the nice all-rounded, well-rounded team. I don't know why Justice Winslow is starting, but if, if he was starting, or was he starting in this series too? Uh, no. So I don't know what the hell they're doing. It should be Bojan. But screw it. Hopefully they're not dumb for too long. They said Justice Winslow's on fire. They want to start him. Hey man, I don't control that. You you good. You got it. It's your team. Rick Carlisle. But yet another year where the, the top seeds are not making it to the finals. We got the 12th seed and the 14th seed. Curry versus DeMar. Well, Curry just continue his run of dominance in a whole different universe. Establishes dominance through the entire multiverse or um, you're gonna have a DeMar DeRozan masterclass. I keep on saying DeMar though, like like uh, Marcus Gasol isn't fake Jokic with better defense. The Timberwolves just storm back in this fourth quarter to make it a three point game. They're down by three with 120 left. And Steph is gonna have the ball, the greatest three point shooter of all time. Can he get a bucket against Eric Bledsoe? He's gonna make his way to the basket around Bledsoe. Pass it back out to a wide open DeAnthony Melton. He misses it. That was a huge shot right there. And now Gordon's gonna throw it down to a wide open DeMar DeRozan.
DeRozan dunks over. I think that was Melton. Oh, man, he is getting cooked. Curry up the other way. Curry goes between the legs a few times. He's going to have to make it, make his way to the basket. Layup blocked by Gasol. DeRozan back on the other end. A huge block by Mark. DeRozan into the corner. Eric Gordon. Dude used to get buckets back in his days. You know what I'm saying? The Hornets and the Clippers and all that. A foul? Is that a moving screen? Winslow. Oh, my God. Sadiq Bay, the dude who I envisioned to be, you know, a fake Clay Thompson substance of the game. He subs in for D'Anthony Melton, thankfully, because, hell, that wasn't working. I also think Wiggins is on the bench. Uh, like I've said before, foul outs are off, so that's just their decision. And uh, Curry, he gets double teamed. Oh, no, they pass it back out. Wow, great defense. It's Sadiq for three. There he is. Your new splash brother hitting a three. They got six more three-pointers made. And the Pacers, Gordon up the other end. The screen by Gasol. He's not going to take it. Gordon throws it down to Gasol on the post. And Vucevic, a man who fell in the draft for his defensive in in inconsistencies and efficiencies. And, if and whatever the hell, whatever, whatever, about 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 Curry has the ball now. Ice wing top of the key. 27 seconds left. Curry gets a screen going left. He's again going to get double teamed. And Sadiq again for three. Bang. Sadiq Bay. Pistons legend Sadiq Bay. Screw the Pistons. Sorry. Now it's Minnesota. 22 seconds left. And just like that, Minnesota has taken their lead back with two Sadiq Bay threes and nothing else. Subs in and was completely AO. Did they have like the heating pad on him or something, bro? He, yeah, I mean, my dog was not. My dog was ready to go. One point deficit now. And DeMar DeRose and Eric Gordon, whoever the hell can still game it. They're going to have the game winning shot here unless they force it. They're going to pass it down and they get stolen. Another defensive play by Vucevic. Vucevic at the line. The first free throw is good. The Pacers have no more timeouts. They threw away their possession. He's going to hit both. The pass into Gordon. Gordon brings it up towards J Jordan Poole. He goes between the legs and shoots a deep three and that is off. Eric Gordon is an insane and, and his insane shot selection. My God, he throws away the game. Eric Gordon wins the sellout of the year award. He's definitely not winning finals MVP. It's going to be something along the lines of a five point win past the Justice Winslow for three. No way in hell. Never mind. Okay. I mean, there's just, yeah, there, there's just no way. We're, this game is over. They're going to get fouled again. They're going to win. Yeah. Okay, cool. DeMar DeRozan, 21 points. Gasol, 20 and 16. Eric Gordon, six turnovers, 50% shooting, but those awful shots. And Curry, Randall, Vucevic, Bay, and Wiggins. And Melton's awful late game shooting. Enough. Enough to give them the game one win. But the Pacers look like they might wait. Are they about to sell another second half? I know St Steph Curry's third quarters in real life tend to be insane, but okay. No, yeah, the Pacers hold on. 141, 132 win. Eric Gordon, maybe you will win finals MVP. 31 and 5 of this game. Game three in Minnesota. And Minnesota will win this one. 125, 117. 27 and 10 from Curry. Randall was a sellout, but he had 17 boards. Another win inbound, maybe, from the Timberwolves. It looks like they should hold on here unless they sell this badly. My God, they couldn't score for the life of them. But there it is. 110, 113 win. Gordon, 5 for 14. I don't know why he keeps on shooting the most shots on the team. Marcus all had 10 and 25. Vucevic had 20 rebounds himself. Randall made up for his last game performance with 31, 11, and 6. And uh, Wiggins actually had 31, not Curry. Curry got, you know what I'm saying? His sporting cast came through. But is there any possible way Curry can blow a 3-1 lead? Nah, I don't think he'd ever do that. I'm sorry. As someone who, like, kind of gets tired of, like, real corny jokes, that that'll ne and honestly won't get old. That's just, it's insane. Blowing a 3-1 lead is like, imagine you're in New York, right? And you want to take a trip to Texas and you're driving. But you drive all the way to Texas and when you're, let's say, you know, you got the Google Maps up and you got 10 minutes left until you arrive at your de destination. You run out of gas and the only gas station left is in New York. So you have to walk all the way back. That's what blowing a 3-1 lead is like. And well, guess what? They they are, you know, they're two wins away from doing so. DeMar DeRozan, 40 points in a finals game. Okay, hold on. They're they're actually about to do it. Um, take You could have my analogy, bro. I, I don't want Curry to blow a 3-1 lead. This is not a good look for the brand. It is a game seven and Indiana has the lead currently in the third quarter by a few points, just a couple, a handful if you, if you, so, if you will say so yourself, whatever the hell that's saying is okay they just hit a three i should have checked the shot chart to see who did it and oh they have a ball again curry can close out the game right here in game seven to win his championship randall passes it into him i like the number 15 randall it suits you what's your favorite number one 15 is up there for me you know what i'm saying and uh curry to the basket he gets blocked but fouled by gasol awful foul only could have got just a little clean block or whatever honestly they just like playing jordan pool late game i turned off fatigue and all that stuff and they just like playing jordan pool over wiggins but yeah it's over anyways i mean what the hell are the pacing gonna do here mark gasol for three he might hit this he never mind wow yeah you're awful that is it timberwolves are about to win the nba championship they are not gonna blow the through one lead thank god tristan thompson is in the game him and curry can fight or something see if curry's got a bucket in him oh snap randall iso julius randall tragic bronson the double team back out curry for three and that is it the dagger hey we don't gotta watch all this we can we can call it a day but the timberwolves are nba champions damar had a fantastic finals he, he shot 15 for 18 in this game shot 60 percent in the playoffs they'll probably even go even further up and curry 34 points and that is it steph curry and russell
Russell Westbrook are your first two NBA champions, and Julius Randle is the finals MVP. Jesus Christ, give me the screenshot. Come on, dog. You can see it pop up. Look at how glitched this playoff picture screen is. My God. 2K, uh, yo, 2K has the programming st skills of a one of the three blind mice. Jeff Jefferson retired, and guess what? I use the same exact draft class. They all about to come right back into the league. Hey, we got a different champion these two years, bro, and Westbrook didn't even make it out, out the first round. Why we need draft class? If you want to be good, just simply get good. You ever thought about that? Like, teams play different from year to year? Hey, I don't care about George Niang. You can send that free agency pool. Embiid is a 99. Garland's an Ayo. Hey, my, my Pelicans, dog. This is honestly, this is my favorite team in here. You guys better start playing good. Them and that Lillard team. But you know, it's always nice to see Prime Julius Randle doing his thing. Derek Rose and Harden. Ayo hey, Rose, we got to see you in the final soon. I mean, I guess your team doesn't have to be good if you're the all star captain. But hey, Jason Tatum's an all star starter. One of the later picks in the first round. Still no Zion, though. Just realized that, man, Zion, what, what is good? The 76ers are the best team in the league. How did. Oh, snap. I didn't draft Lance Stevenson here. Was he? He was probably a lower overall and he just got auto drafted. He was probably like a 79, 80 or whatever. Cause yeah, I did not draft him, but he's been in Philadelphia all three years off the bench. And now he's starting and cooking. I get, I mean, he's not really doing all that well on it. He's, he's all right. He's all right. But Melo and Cade though, and Ben Simmons carrying Jokic is magic of the second best team in the league and so on and so forth. You know, Timbo's always going to be around there. They're a force. Hey, hold on. I was just talking trash about Zion. I think he's in the playoff picture right now. I can't even find him. Uh, never mind. They're not that good. I forgot, I forgot what team he was on. James Harden wins his third straight MVP. You just solidifying yourself as a regular season dog, dog. Nation Bone Highland start getting some minutes. White Howard has had wins another DPOY. Donovan Mitchell most improved. Um, his overall is high, but I moved him to a point guard and he went up by one. Everything else is just normal. No more progression stuff. And Doc Rivers, 55 wins. So is that the clip? No, wait, no, no, no. That's the Sixers. That's Melo's team. 55 wins. Oh, uh, the all NBA teams are probably pretty set in stone. Let's see if there's anybody new around here. Oh, Randall. I don't think we've seen Randall on here yet, although that's kind of surprising. Maybe, maybe we have Melo on the third team, Rose on the third team, Tatum. I think I forgot to check the stats last year too 55 and 27 the 76ers are five games better than almost anybody but the the nets are right there pj tucker's an 87 he doesn't shoot a lot but i mean he makes the shots the timberwolves and the jazz also you know what i'm saying they also won 50 games that's, an, that's two of the teams that have made the finals one of them winning the finals and russell westbrook's Cavs back in the top five of contention yoga just magic up here okay let, let's let's look at this real quick league leaders lillard far and away in points i don't know how his team is doing but you know you can see the rest uh rebounds dwight howard far and away 16 boards and assists rondo and Rubio tie. Mikael Bridges, best three-point shooter in the league. Doesn't shoot a lot, but I mean, hell, hell he's making his shots, you know. Melo is fourth best at three-point shooting. He shoots the most up here, except for Booker. All right, let's see who the hell is going to make it out. The Sixers are down. Yo, the Sixers are about to lose in the first round. Raptors are out of here. Sixers lose to the Rockets. Holy hell, I'm not even going to AO. Lakers and Cavs went to a seven-game series. Minnesota and the Pacers. Wasn't that last year's finals matchup? Did we get that in the first round this year? We got the finals matchup in the first round. That's how crazy this league is. That could just happen. That shouldn't be allowed, but screw it. Hey, this is our league. And guess what? The Timberwolves came up on top again in game seven. Donovan Mitchell's Rockets, him and Boogie Cousins and Michael Porter Jr. able to dethrone Melo, Christian Wood, and Cade Cunningham and Ben Simmons. Oh, uh, that's only upsets though. Oh, and Phoenix loses to Washington. So uh, Isaiah Thomas and Dwight lose to Giannis. I'm not surprised. Look at his 54 and 17. Uh, you can see the rest though. You're probably getting pretty used to the teams, but Cavaliers versus Timberwolves. They give me the black screen of death, but uh, we got Curry versus Westbrook. That'll be a group. Those are the two champions right now. So uh, one of them is going to get eliminated. Don't mind me just resetting my game. Although, Ayo, look, I got the quarry right here. Ayo, if you interested in seeing me play a different game, I uploaded the whole series on my third channel, my gaming channel. And I just uploaded a video of me playing Fall Guys with Chris Smoove. Um, yeah, no, that's not it. That's not a drill. How the hell I, I log back on and they disconnect me? Ah, yes, there you go. Beautiful matchups. Tobias versus Julius Randle. I'm surprised Tobias is a 90 overall. Got Aiden versus Vucevic. Pat Bev gonna try and guard Wiggins. It looks like the Timberwolves do have the clear advantage here, but screw it. I guess it's because of how far Vucevic fell in the draft. Oh, I just started simulating games. I didn't even look at the other matchups. Cavs versus Wolves. I mean, my bad. Jazz versus Magic. Wait, what? Did I click on the wrong thing? Yeah, my bad. Jokic versus Kevin Love. Donovan Mitchell and Boogie versus Giannis. And Harden versus Derrick Rose. I would love to see either one of these two make it. I mean, obviously, one of them's got to make it to the conference rounds at the very least. The Cavaliers are out of here. They get swept in four games by Minnesota. And guess what? I was just talking about how good Vucevic was. Four, four for 16. Still won the game. Playing as mid as ever. The Rockets lose. Wizards able to defeat Donovan and uh, Cousins. So uh, we're going we gonna to have a Curry versus versus Giannis matchup. Might have two game seven. Oh my God. Is Kevin Love really him?
find out on the next episode or whatever the hell this is. Aim seven. I'm not gonna lie, I, I left my computer for like three minutes, so I forgot what I said last. So I just started saying some random stuff. But holy hell, this game is close. Oh my God, look at Colin Sexton. Jokic got Colin Sexton out there and like the God, but look at this. They're about to lose to Kevin Love. I, I was about to jump in, but I decided not. And they have lost. Kevin Love is going back to the conference finals, him and Rondo. And then a Harden versus Rose game seven. And holy hell, this might've not, this wasn't necessary. 143, 112 lint win. James Harden drops 29, 10 and 17. Ingram 35, Rose 42. You know, we needed more from Bam in this game. He shot four for 13. He almost got a triple double. We, we needed more on the scoring front because Ingram, my God. And we needed some more defense. All right, conference finals. Jazz versus Nets. You got Jordan, Ingram and Harden versus Rondo, Hero and Kevin Love and Wiseman. Wizards versus Timberwolves. Curry versus Giannis. Do I need to say any more? Julius Randle versus Giannis. My bad. The, the reigning finals MVP versus Giannis. And no, I didn't make this Julius Randle. This is a roster I downloaded. But uh, Harden's about to get cooked. Harden is down 3 1 and he loses. Kevin Love cooks cooks uh, James Harden. And the Wizards have been eliminated. So we are going to get a matchup actually of one of the teams who won playing one of the teams who lost. Two of the top seeds in the league, to be fair. Fourth seed and third seed. And by the way, I don't know where the Knicks didn't make the playoffs, right? I don't see them anywhere. Oh, so, uh, LeBron's team. I don't know where the hell they went. But get a matchup between two teams that have already made the finals, except the Jazz still need a ring. And they're going to win game one by six points. Kevin Love, 36 and 22. They win game two by even more points. Kevin Love, 35, 17 and 10. I don't know where any of this came from, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. Timberwolves able though to make it competitive at the very least. Randall rebound. Okay. So it's either about to be a 3-1 lead or a 2-2 tie. That's a huge deal right here, right now, right? Curry going for his second ring. Randall going for his second ring. And they have the ball down by two with 23 seconds left. Oh, I just realized Curry caught the ball in the backcourt. I was probably like, oh, backcourt violation. I removed backcourt violations. They don't even exist. Great defensive group out here right now by this uh, Timberwolves team. Real solid. My bad by the Jazz. Six seconds left. Curry's going to get the screen. He makes his way to the right side. He makes his way all the way to the basket. Blocked by Wiseman to give Utah the 3-1 lead. James Wiseman, the insane versatility on the defensive end. And Rondo is getting MVP chance down the other way. What an insane turn of events. I honestly could have sworn that Curry was about to hit a game winner. He misses a free throw, but that is it. There is no time left for them to even call the timeout. I don't even know if they had one. This is some of the best 2K CPU defense I've ever played. Why? Because they didn't let Curry take this shot. He doesn't force it. Look at how high up Wiseman gets. Forces Curry to go for the drive and then still guards him all the way to the basket. Gets him into the beautiful animation and blocks the hell out of this shot. That, that shot didn't even leave his hand. The Jazz go up 3-1. The team with like the 29th pick or something. Rondo and Hero both had 30. Both well, second another game to make it 3-2. Vucevic had 35. But it's looking like Utah is about to win game six of the series and get their first. Yeah, they, they just cooked him in the past few seconds. As I've been sitting here talking and simulating, the Jazz have won the NBA championship led by Kevin Love, Hero, Wiseman, Robert Williams, Rondo, and uh, Kelly Oubre's one for four shooting. That is it. Kevin Love finals MVP. We've now seen three James Harden MVPs. He had a Russell Westbrook, a Julius Randle, and a Kevin Love ring. Look at all these bums retiring. You know, I was just watching these Paolo versus Jaden, uh, my bad, Jabari Smith highlights, and it made me tempted to add in the draft, but it just, it would mess up the, you know, well-roundedness of the league. So no, I'm, I'm keeping the draft out of here. Jesse Carson, how you doing? You guys can sign the rookies. They're going to retire anyway. Zion is a 96 dog. I need something out of you soon. Okay, okay. Former champion Russell Westbrook wins the MVP award. So him and Harden got every single one. How you doing, Quentin Grimes? You got yourself a rotational spot. DPOI again, Dwight Howard. Most improved Garland. So him and Embiid must have both averaged like 30 points. Look at him, 27 a game. What did he do last year? He went up by five plus points this year. A couple more assists as well. Kevin Love is just different somehow. I, I didn't expect him to be this good. I don't know. I didn't make the rosters. That would just be normal all-time Kevin Love. I mean, he's averaging the correct scoring and rebounding numbers probably. Just the assists are insane. Even an all-around threat. I guess, I guess we could just say he's like a fake Jokic. You know what I'm saying? A power forward. Not everybody that's a power forward got to be. I mean, not everybody that's a big man that can pass got to be a fake Jokic though, huh? You could just be yourself, Kevin. But like we haven't, we haven't seen Chris Paul around at all. I mean, he's doing his Chris Paul thing, but we haven't seen him make the playoffs, I don't think. I mean, Edwards got to be in his prime now. The Cavaliers, best team in the league. So Westbrook leads the best team in the league with his same starting five as usual. Kevon Looney's an 85 for whatever reason. I think it's really funny that every like player is just, their, their social media picture on this game is just PNG image. And then Curry won 50 games and Melo and Cade and Ben Simmons won 50 games. They got Montrez Howell starting over Christian Wood. Why? I don't know. But screw it. It's your team. You control it. The Knicks are back in the playoff race. I mean, it's LeBron James for God's sake. Although he isn't doing that much. He does have the 99 shot tendency. I don't know why he's not shooting more. Jamal Murray averaged more points. What the hell? Hey, bro. Good for you. I don't know. Is anybody abysmal? Yet again, bro. Zion's team. 24 and 10 from Zion. 22 from McCollum. A 
18 and 10 from Lowry. Warren averaged 13. Miles Turner, 6. Maybe he's the weak link. I don't know. They also got Dario Sarge, though, off the bench. And then the Bucks tie them for the worst team with Kyrie Irving. There's a few teams. I saw the Thunder down there, too, with Ja and Cat. A few teams that I really had hoping that aren't doing anything. But that's their fault, not mine. I mean, bro, your teams are constructed to perfection. Come on now, dog. Westbrook led the league in scoring. He was up there in assists, but Ronda was the leader. Dwight Howard led in rebounds again. Luke Kennard and Patty Mills shot over 50% from three. And let's simulate. The Timberwolves just got bounced first round. Why do I feel like that was that was a significant thing? Wait, isn't that? Oh, that's Curry. Curry got bounced first round by Memphis. That is a uh, Derrick Rose bounced Curry first round. Okay. I respect it. 4 0 sweep for the dude who just, you know, lost in the finals. Maybe his run is over. And the Jazz just lost in the first round, too, to Orlando. Marcus Morris Sr. and Jokic beat Kevin Love. Oh, he heard me calling him a Jokic clone, and he said, no, I'm Jokic. James Harden going to make it deep again in the playoffs. Ben, uh, I haven't seen Paul George do much, but he's here. I mean, not anymore, but you know. The Pelicans are here in the playoffs, but they lose to LeBron James. Honestly, I'd be rooting for them, too. I think the only one other one I missed was that the Hawks lost to the Kings, so Kawhi Leonard beats Luka, and then we got a few Game 7s. Pistons versus Lakers. You got AD versus Klay Thompson in them, and LaMelo Ball. I actually didn't mean to simulate that, but screw it, I did, and they lost by five. The Lakers, that is. Anthony Davis moves on to the second round. And the Cavaliers versus the Pacers. Russell Westbrook against this pretty solid all-around team that's made it to the finals before, I think, or the conference or something. Eric Bledsoe, DeMar, and Marcus Gasol. Oh, yeah, no, they, they missed it. They lost to Steph, didn't they? Yeah. And the Pacers are going to lose by six points to Russell Westbrook. So in the second round, Pistons versus Knicks. You got AD versus Braun. Derrick Rose versus Jokic. Very differently built teams there. Russell Westbrook versus Harden. Caden Mello against Kawhi and whoever the hell. Let's see how these go. Dang, every single one is at least three to two. Let's see. Knicks are out of here. LeBron is out of here. Grizzlies are out of here. Cavs are out of here. They all ended in six. Anthony Davis and the Pistons able to defeat LeBron and the Knicks. I was about to say I just envisioned LeBron shooting more, but he shot 23 times and only made it seven of the shots. So this game six is just, I mean, it's not on him per se because they, they scored 140 points. AD was cooking Whiteside, who shot two for nine himself. In this game six, you got Harden's Nets defeating Westbrook's Cavaliers. So Harden's still in the race. He didn't win MVP this year, but he's looking to get finals MVP. Cade Cunningham and the 76ers, they are able to defeat Kawhi Leonard. You know, Cade and Melo. I mean, let me not leave Melo out of there. And then Jokic's Magic are going to make it to the conference finals against Cade Cunningham. So Jokic, Hayward, and Van Vliet against Cade, Melo, and uh, Ben Simmons. And AD versus Harden. See if DeAndre Jordan can lock him up because, well, Hassan Whiteside could not. A 4-2 win for the Brooklyn Nets. James Harden makes his way back to the finals or for the, to the first time, actually. And let's see. Game 7. Okay, okay. That's an easy jump in. We in the conference finals. Here it is. 130 left. Philadelphia up by three. Cade Cunningham has the ball guarded by the shorter Fred Van Vliet, but he's still known for his defensive prowess. Let's see if he guard him here. He cannot, but the help by Kevin Herter in the game. Herter throws it up to Dort. Dort all the way, and he gets fouled by Mello. Magic looking to make it a one-point game against Dort. Two for five field goals on the night. All we need is some free throws out of you, though. The first one is good. I mean, I'm obviously rooting for Mello. You know this, but you know, Jokic is a cool guy, too. We're either getting Mello versus Harden or Jokic versus Harden. Cade Cunningham. Oh my, he drops the ball and Fred Van Vliet picks it up. He's got a wide open Sexton on the left corner and he's going to hit the corner three. You can tell by the animation. No way in hell he's missing it. They have blown the lead in the Sixers. Cade Cunningham drops the ball and misses a shot and now he's bringing it back up again. Cunningham the crossover to the basket. A layup, a really bad layup blocked by Jokic. 52 seconds left. Sexton up the other end. Hits him with the Hezzy. The, uh, oh, no screens. No nothing. Okay. Off ball screens for Van Vliet. He's going to get the ball guarded by Anthony. The screen by Jokic. Does Melo have picked Dodger? I don't know. And Fred Van Vliet, the layup is good. 37 seconds left and the Magic are storming back to take a four-point lead. This is an insane comeback from the Magic. Cade Cunningham throws it out to Ben Simmons. Oh, God. He's not even wearing 25 anymore. Ben to the basket. He steps back for a close jumper. Oh, my God. They ran the offense of hell to end this game. And they are going to blow this game and lose. They didn't give Melo the ball once. You know, like the guy who they always bring up the graphing says that he's like the most clutch scorer ever or something. They didn't even give Melo the ball. I mean, there is 22 seconds left. You never know, but you know, I'm, I'm going to see if they hit a three, but that's it. it that's probably over. Nikola Jokic's supporting cast comes through. I mean, it just really hurts. It's it's like uh, in those movies when like like when there's like one dude who like is insanely good at like building stuff and then he'll build the enemy on accident. That's me right now because I'm rooting for Melo, but I accidentally, you know, built this Jokic team that's going to beat him. And Lance Stevenson, what the hell was that? I don't know, but it's over. It's over for sure. That is it. The magic move on to the finals. We watched the entire Sixers demise. Maybe just the Sixers curse. I don't know. Ben Simmons misses one of his four shots in the late game. And Melo, 8 for 20 shooting with a triple double. Lance Stevenson, 4 for 13 without a triple double. Although he used to be the triple double guy back in the early 2010s. You know, him and Rondo. Nets and Magic, 
finals. We're going to get a new champion, Jokic versus Harden. 299 overalls, which just kind of solidly built cores. They're pretty similar, actually. Almost exactly the same. Get a 91 overall second best player, 91 overall third best player, 86 overall, 85 versus 88. So, I mean, it's just up to, uh, I don't know, the basketball gods at this point. Hey, man, game one. And I really like this matchup. I'm not going to lie. Oh, man, but I hate this Brooklyn court. It looks especially awful. In it looks okay in real life. You know, I've been to the Nets games, you know, once in the play. Oh, my God. What was that? Colin Sexton, what the hell was that? How'd you just throw it past? Yo, you just broke Jokic's arm out of his insane reaction speed. But why were you throwing it? Look at how high he throws this ball. Where the hell is this ball going? Holy hell, Colin, what? No wonder you ain't got a contract yet. Harden, the double step back three. Oh my goodness. Hold on, quick. I, I was zoned out for a second. I was still thinking about that Colin Sexton pass, but oh my goodness. James Harden takes the five point lead with his double step. And uh, Fred Van Vliet back up the other way, throws it down to Jokic. She gets double teamed, which is never a good idea, but great defense, great recovery. You know, it's, it's a good, it's not a, it's, it's not a bad idea to double team Jokic for him not to score, but you know, oh, Harden, another one. Harden, he misses. But yeah, you know, you don't want to let Jokic get into his passing bag. Fred Van Vliet down to Jokic again in the post. They are going to double team. He passed it out to Van Vliet and another great contest, but Freddy boy, did you just have a kid or something, bro? How are you hitting shots like this? Harden going to make his way to the left. Another double step back three over Fred. It's off rebound by Hayward. He shot three of those now. Hayward guarded by Tucker. Not the easiest defensive matchup, but Cam Johnson in the corner misses the shot. Enough room to pull. It looked like a very NBA-ish shot. You know what I'm saying? Just throw it to a guy, takes a contested three in the corner. Why not? Harden now, though, with a chance to seal the game. And he's going to, oh my goodness, they left him wide open. Yo, he lost. Look at Cam Johnson stumble when Harden hits a step back. He cooked Cam Johnson. How do you not know this is coming, bro? Just He's done it seven times. Oh yeah, that is it. James Harden has ended the, James Harden out here cooking in the finals. Man, it would have been so much fun to see James Harden cook in the finals. I know the, the Rockets ran like a really boring system where he was just iso -ing from the top of the key every play and it was really weird but he was so good at it dort oh man wow i mean hey good good job you forced a foul but like half of these games been dort shooting free throws is there any way they sell they almost did oh my god they almost threw the ball into van vliet no way that happens again right the defense is, was crazy there but oh man they're fouling james harden yeah it's over oh they in this setup yeah no they're not throwing this away right i mean i'm always here for a good sellout you know but yeah no it's over harden's at the line dog that's james harden it's cooked harden 33 and 13 we watched a couple of those threes go down Hayward 33, Jokic 28, 15, and 13. What what great just blockbuster games right here. No, not blockbuster. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, unless you were going to blockbuster, wasn't that the store's name that closed down like 10 years ago? And the Nets are gonna win another game pretty convincingly hard in 33 and 11 to Jokic is 27, 21, and 13, but he loses. Another dominant game by Harden in the Nets, 32 and 21 with a triple double. And Jokic, he had a triple double himself, but they are up. The Nets are having the most convincing finals win of ever of this entire simulation up three to oh and they're going to win james harden is an nba champion so him russell westbrook julius Randle, steph curry and kevin love have all led their teams to finals shout out to ingram too you know what i'm saying nice little second i told you hey i told he averaged 25 i told you he was the best parent for harden deandre jordan 22 and 20 in this final game i mean he played as bad as good as defense as you could on Jokic. he didn't have no like 40 point games or nothing but he did have a bunch of 24 and 20s and that is it harden 32 7 and 13 for this season and let's look at the playoff stats real quick Harden was fourth in scoring. Randall was top three. Doncic, Westbrook, Jamal Murray, Garland. I don't know what LeBron, I don't know why they make LeBron so such a wimp in these simulations, dog. That man do not be shooting the ball. Me personally, if I was LeBron James, I'd average 30. I don't need to dwell in this garbage offseason. We don't do offseasons around here. We're, 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 you know, we just know ball. Nikola Jokic, most valuable player. After his finals loss, he's looking for vengeance. He's looking for revenge. Josh Primo got some minutes. He, so he won rookie of the year in his 27th year. JaVel McGee has been winning six man almost every year as well. Dwight Howard is deep. POI. Jalen Green, most improved. Okay, I've been waiting. Hey, we, we might have to go through the standings this year because I, there is, you know what I'm saying? I, I crafted you bastards. I'm I'm waiting for all these teams. 49 and 33 was the best record in the league. Holy hell. Not even a 50 win team in our league. Braun makes the first team, still only averaging 23 though, man. What the hell are you doing? I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to go and like edit his stats, bro. You're LeBron James. I mean, not even at a Knicks bias. I'm, I just want to see bro be good. I've had people comment or like, I mean, I've, I've definitely like, you know, acknowledged this before, but I've had people comment or DM me or not even dm just comments really like yo you make lebron worse for the sim bro i love every player i don't know what you're talking about that was like years ago bro who cares though we're used to it jason tatum all nba second team lamello ball as well all nba second team he's panned out pretty nicely but the most coveted of them coveted of them all we still have yet to see zion or for that matter ja we haven't seen much of ja moran either kyrie Irving makes the all nba third team averaging 28 and 9 so the war oh, okay the, the warriors did win 50 games they didn't have the coach of the year but still and once again i 
love this Warriors team. 94 overall, Evan Mobley holding down the center position can stretch the floor. Obviously, him and LaMarcus, you know what I mean? I don't know. They're doing, the, they're, they're doing their job, whatever. Let's focus, though, on the bottom of the barrel. I don't, honestly, I don't know what to do with this team. This team is a lost cause or something. Blazers are just cooked. At the very least, sorry, Chauncey Billups. I know I called your hiring a few years ago, but let me get you out of here, bro. It's, it's obviously not working. Yeah, give, give him Jacob Underwood. Give him Jacob, because you guys are cooked. The Nuggets, I, uh, oh, man, I, I don't. You might be the one team that I don't know what to do with. Like, truly, just you might be cooked. You might be ruined and the word cook too much. Dwight Powell's on the bench. Marcus Smart's on the bench. The Rockets don't know what they're doing. They've been in the playoffs before, though. I haven't seen Devin Booker and Rudy Gobert ever, I don't think. But Scotty Barnes, though, he did win most improved player that one year, and he's averaging 27 now. So it's really just on that. It's really just on the, you know, the competitiveness of this league. And yeah, here goes Miami. They even got an 88 overall Reggie Jackson. Bradley Beal averaging 24. Jalen Green averaging 27. Draymond being Draymond. DeMontis being DeMontis. Clippers fell out of the playoffs. The John Wall and Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum was on the All-NBA team. They didn't make the playoffs. LeBron didn't make the playoffs. You know, it, it's just stacked, dog. Marcus Gasol and DeMar didn't make it. They've been in the finals before. Kemba Walker's a 95. Paul George is a 97. Jonathan Kaminga's starting now for them, and they didn't make nothing. The Bulls, 50 and or 40 and 40, or whatever the hell, 40 and 42. But Chris Paul could not lead this team all the way to the promised land, and uh, Russell Westbrook just barely made it. The Wizards also missed it. So even, yo, look at the Thomas Bryant picture. I have never seen a picture like that on this screen. What the hell? That's crazy. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's insane. I think this is year number five five if i'm not mistaken let me check yep year number five of the simulation and let's look at the uh, uh the leaders in regular season scoring 30 points for westbrook 15 rebounds again for dwight he's doing his dwight howard thing for sure he's, he's doing about as much as i would expect and rubio 14 assists per game next to devin booker and then Prin forbes back on san antonio best three-point shooter in the league and quentin grimes not too far behind let's just let's just get straight to the second round let's see who's really built different you know what i'm saying i'm ready to just start breezing through pistons versus lakers clay and Lamelo back again i was a bit you know wary of how this team would actually perform but here they are doing great i feel like these teams played last year or at least they both made it to the second round last year something like that Suns versus jazz isaiah and dwight okay they made it this far tyrese is a 92 john collins is a 90 but they are playing the the, the powerhouse of kevin love the bucks versus thunder ja morant there you go ja you know zion's team is still failing but i'm happy to see you you know what i mean another young player that was drafted highly him towns Millsap, bain and porter i loved how this team was built you know what i'm saying i think i think it's i'm happy you guys are here kyrie also too wow i was i was so caught up on the other side but Kyrie too probably better off that lonzo's at point so he can guard john morant but um yeah nice little completely new matchup we get there and then the magic versus the 76ers oh this is a rematch we get the rematch the 76ers sold so bad against the magic we're gonna get a second round rematch for them 3-1 leads all across the board and guess what the jazz are out of here kevin love gets cooked by dwight and isaiah thomas that was enough to get them to the you know what i mean 5-9 who cares the pistons are out of here the magic are out of here so mellow and uh what's his name Cade Cunningham they got their revenge against Jokic Jokic despite winning the MVP you know what I'm saying he even had a chip on his shoulder he was trying to make it back to the finals and speaking of that Harden won that ring right they lost in the first round to the Lakers James Harden in this league every every series is a final series you know what I'm saying and yeah AD you know his team is it, I kind of knew when I was building it that's why I was like okay let's get Jalen Brown we need as many scores as possible but it was going to be tough for him to lead a team like this or just lead a team in general and he's doing good good enough to make the playoffs and like Zion sorry Zion it's just it's very rare that you can bag on Zion Zion and you know trash him in a, in a video because he's always the best player and i thought he would be again honestly i thought he just you know just ruined my whole idea but hey guess he decided to take the day off and the bucks are going to defeat the thunder so ja morant loses to kyrie irving so in the conference finals we are going to have a matchup of Cade cunningham six foot eight self against isaiah thomas Melo versus josh hart sure why not i don't think i think i drafted somebody else but he's still probably just there on the bench i mean he is there I, nobody retired or, or left ben simmons versus john collins and dwight howard versus Montrez. So obviously got two big mismatches here. Melo versus Josh Hart and Dwight Howard versus Montrez. Oh, and Cade versus Isaiah. But you know, overall wise, I was talking. And then Lamelo versus Lonzo, Kyrie versus Clay, and Brooke Lopez versus Clint Capella. I mean, th those guard matches were really what's getting us. You know what I'm saying? Lamelo and Lonzo in a league with everybody in the league in their prime. They both make it to the conference finals. And it is a 3-1 lead. Cade and Melo over the Suns. And a 3-1 lead for the Lakers over the Bucks. Will they win? They do. Valley an effort by the Bucks. Their team really isn't that great, yet they made it this far. I, I have been banking on Lonzo becoming pretty decent, and he has. He's become a pretty solid player, at least in this league. You know, you got to be pretty good to be good in this league. But um, the Sixers are be are here in the finals, and the Lakers, after a lot of deep runs, are also here. Lamelo versus Cade. Melo versus Matisse Thybul, which I guess, I mean, hey, that's solid game planning, I guess. Ben Simmons versus Rudy. Clint versus Montrez. And Clay versus Lance Stevenson. And I love this universe. It's almost like I created it. 137-119 win 
for Ben Simmons, Cade, Montrez, and Melo. Melo had 17 boards despite all of his insane misses. Four for 19, dog, really? They still won the game, though. A semi-close one? It actually might get closer. How the hell Simmons miss a close jump shot? Oh my god, bro. Let's see a whole bag. All right, hop into the game real quick. The Sixers have the ball. They're down by five, but they have possession of the basketball. We've seen them collapse, but is there any chance the Lakers collapse? Cade Cunningham, the screen by Christian Wood. He passed it down to Simmons. Simmons is going to go between the legs. Oh, the little step through. He goes nowhere. He's going to take the little hook. Oh, okay, Ben. Looking like Summer League Ben Simmons. I've seen a highlight tape on Twitter recently. Ben Simmons was different back in the day. You know, I'm liking the number 22, too. I know it's not your, your normal, but hey. Oh, Rudy. Whoa, whoa, my God. Rudy, what the hell? I know Ben's got an intimidator, but you had some room there, bro. Like, you I, you were confident enough to pull the deep mid-range. Who are you, DeMar? The more I see, the less I like it with this jump shot. This jump shot is awful. And he's got the best jump shot in 2K, too, like, form-wise. You know, everybody uses that shot. Oh, my. Rudy with the steal to make up for it. An awful pass. Goes between the legs. Step back again. Holy hell, relax. You do not need to be taking this many shots, bro. Where's Clay Thompson? Look at Clint Capella on the roll. Oh, yeah, I forgot they were up. I'm not rooting for you. Screw you. I'm rooting for Melo. Sorry. Uh, I mean, I like I like the form factor of your team. But Ben Simmons to the basket. Throws it out wide open. Cade Cunningham for three. Makes it a two-point game. They don't got a foul, but they might. Will they foul? They will not. Rudy gets the ball. Power forward v power forward. Rudy's bringing it up. You know, Ben's a little bit of a point guard himself, though. Guard these once every while. Rudy to the basket. Down to Capella and the steal by Ben Simmons. And you know, you know Rudy's got an, uh, not, not a natural point guard here. Because as you could tell, someone sagged completely off of uh, Bogdan in the corner. Mello. Mello fell asleep. His controller died. He ran over for no reason. And he still tried to force it down to Capella. But that's the former almost DPOI, Ben Simmons. Let's see what the Sixers got up their sleeve. I love this lineup they got out here. But uh, just please give the ball to someone else but Ben. Come on, Mello. Mello, please. <laughs> Take the Cade, Mello. I don't know. Cade was selling the last time. Oh, no. They're really about to give it to Ben. They're really about to do this. Oh, Cade's got it. Cade on the left wing. Four seconds left. He's going to pull the three. It is good. Cade Cunningham. He's different. He's different. He hits it over Lamelo. Mello and they're gonna take a two way actually there's still two seconds left oh my god i just saw him pushing Lamelo and have uh, yeah look at look at him he's staring down Lamelo. walks right into him yeah yeah you know i'm him i'm him clint capella the pass into rudy mid-range shot is off all front rim and it is over the sixers take the lead he's dapping up Lamelo and smiling in his face knowing he just gave him the meanest bucket hey are you guys yo finals games bro they do not be dapping up like this they walk straight back to the locker rooms it's all business wow i did not know how pivotal Rudy would be to this team, but he's averaging 23 and he had 39 in this game. But uh, it was also pivotal to the loss considering that he missed every shot. Lamelo also four for 14. They earned this loss. And oh my, Kate only missed once. Wait a second. You know what else I just realized? Where is Kevin Durant? We've seen Giannis. We've seen where is KD? And the Sixers about to win another game. Kate Cunningham 29 to take a 3 0 lead. Another dominant finals performance. But where is Kate? KD was on the Hawks, right? I think. No, wait. No, that's Luca. It was maybe he made the. Oh, Oh God, I'm not gonna be able to remember. I cannot front. Durant only averaged 25 points. See, oh, he was in the playoffs and he folded. Holy hell, 38%. Charlotte, I don't know what you guys have been doing. You were the, uh, you, you played against Orlando. You lost to Jokic. Okay, that's fair. Maybe Durant shouldn't have been picked as high as he was. I don't know. I think he was the fourth pick in the draft or something, which I feel like, you know what I mean? It's pretty pretty viable option, but I guess, you know, the, the Durant saga in real life has been interesting too. The whole trade requests and everything. It seems like not a lot of teams even really want him. It's not necessarily that, but they don't want to give up the assets that Brooklyn wants for him. He might have a close game to end the series here or not. I don't know. Maybe the Lakers just sell or not. I think the Sixers are about, they, I think they just got fouled. So yeah, they're at the line. Christian Wood. I'm going to say not a word for the next two seconds as he shoots both of these free throws. Look at the, actually, never mind. Look at the announcer sitting on the court. The, the, the perfect glitch. All right, Christian Wood. He missed the second. Oh yeah, he's not a good free throw shooter in real life either. Hold on. Wait, Clay Thompson brings it up. 128, 132. The lead by the Lakers. Clay Thompson, the screen by Clint Capella. He's going to pull up the mid range. Oh my dirty shot by Clay. I mean, he's had to have, you know, mastered his off ball or his on ball game a little bit more than real life. I mean, I, I let's not act like Clay Thompson can't just dribble the basketball like two dribbles. I, I know he's dropped 60 on like four of them, but still situational things. You know, he was still a top 12 pick or whatever. Uh, Cade Cunningham, the basket, eh, he hits the tough layup. 40 seconds left. They're just uh, full court pressing. No way in hell they foul. LaMelo going up the other way. He gives it to Ta Clay. And uh, despite Clay's, you know, on, on the ball improvements, it doesn't look like they're going to come back in this finals, but they might win this game. Clay, they got Lamelo open right there on the three-point line. Lamelo, he hits it. Okay, they're gonna. They're, hey, they won. They won for sure. It's three-one. Lamelo had forty-two, and that is it. Sixers said, "Yeah, it was really, really cute, guys. Great performance, but um, we're cooking you guys." And Carmelo Anthony is a champion. Cade Cunningham, Christian Wood.
good Ben Simmons and Alex Cruz. So I want to say this is one of my favorite teams, but I feel like I've said it to every team. Cade Cunningham, finals MVP. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, that, that was my, you know, my vision when I drafted him. I drafted him pretty early. Eh, I guess kind of early. I don't know. What was it like 15th pick in the second round or something? But all these legends and everything. And then Ben Simmons fell down because, well, I don't know. He also is a 95 overall now. He got way better. He was like an 84 or something. Oh, no. Darren Wesley retired. Well, that was year number five. We're going to six. Hopefully, I didn't add in draft classes on accident. Hell no. I hold that 40 overall. Bro, so Westbrook, most valuable player. That is his second or third. And I think it might say he has three because of real life. Yeah. So he's got two now in this league. White Howard, DPOY again. We had no rookie of the year this year. How could we? And Tyrone Buford, 58 wins. What team is this? I have no clue. Kevin Love, you know, man, you, you're just LeBron in this simulation, honestly. And yeah, I don't, I, yo, I completely forgot about Kevin Durant this entire time. Did he even make, he made an all NBA, all NBA third team. LaMelo's also here. And anybody else of surprising? I mean, Towns, good for you, I guess. 32 and 13. Holy hell. Also, haven't heard much from Joel Embiid and that team that I love, like really loved. Can't even make the all defensive team over Serge Ibaka. The GOAT though. That's that's the GOAT Serge Ibaka. You know what I'm saying? M Mr. Ibaka. They probably had a jersey with like a Ibaka on the back of it back in the day. Because I remember when I first got into the NBA, I had a jersey that said Lin Sane for Lin Sanity. 58 wins. Oh, of course, it's Kevin Love. And 57 for Brooklyn. What's happening right now? There's no regression happening. So they're just, they're just different, I guess. They almost had a full 90 lineup, but you would expect that in like the national progression of the league because, you know, everybody's just getting better. But, you know, the whole point here too is that like I drafted teams to, you know, whatever and, and, and players might get better, but the tendencies are going to say at least relatively the same. Like for instance, P.J. Tucker, you're 90 overall, but you're still only shooting a couple times a game. So, you know what I'm saying? The players are the players, no matter how good they get overall wise. 22 and 60 for my, man, I don't know what happened here though. Like I feel like this should be enough. Maybe I expected a little more from, from Sabonis. Hell, I don't know. Only teams to have a tour, less than 30 wins was the Nuggets, this garbage team that sucks, I guess. The Rockets, this other garbage team that maybe sucks, I guess. I really don't know. And the Heat, who were the worst. Towns led the league in scoring. So yeah, I, I wasn't surprised. I, I was pretty surprised by that, how many points he averaged. And it was, I mean, everybody was, I guess. Dwight just barely averaged the most rebounds. Rondo, the most assists. And Joe Ingles, 40% from the field. Did it, I, I thought he went to a new team for a second. I thought he broke the code. Here we go again. Utah just got swept as the best team in the league. Towns with his 30 plus points and John Morant, hell, he averaged 24. That's solid enough. Paul Millsap averaged 23. Otto Porter, 11. Pat Connaughton, Nasir Little, Desmond Bain averaged 13. Cole Anthony, why not? They were able to sweep the best team in the league, which is Kevin Love's uh, Utah Jazz. We haven't seen them get too far in a minute. Suns are out of here. Cavaliers, Magic, Raptors, 76ers. Okay, I was just, you know, li listening off names. The one really hit a nerve or struck a nerve or whatever. And the Sixers lose in the first round to the, the great Warriors team. I got to respect it. But the reigning champions will not be making their way back after their dominant finals performance. Then again, they didn't really dominate everybody last year. It was just the finals. They just cooked the Lakers. And speaking of the Lakers, they are in the second round, just on the other side of the bracket now. Second round, we got Hawks versus Timberwolves. Luka versus Steph Curry. Okay, you know, we haven't seen a lot from Luka. We did see him play Giannis once, I think, but uh, that's really it. Hawks versus, or my bad, Warriors versus Grizzlies. Damian Lillard versus Derrick Rose again. I think we saw this one earlier. Thunder versus Hornets. John Morant and Carl uh, Anthony Towns against DeJounte Kevin Durant. Okay. And 90 overall Jalen Brunson. You love to see it. Oh, yeah. Okay. KD's averaging uh, seven more points in the playoffs than in the regular season. So, you know, his team's been making the playoffs. We barely notice him. Just now we're actually, you know, seeing his impact or whatever. He, he heard me. He heard me talking about him, basically. And the Lakers, you know, they start Matisse Thibault. And usually when I do rebuilds, I always avoid him because he's an awful offensive player despite his defense. But it seems to be working out for them. I mean, at the very least, brought him to the finals last year. Might bring him back. Trying to see who else they got. Oh, they oh, so they, they start him over Bogdan. Bogdan, whatever the hell. I think I usually say Bogdan. I think I was just watching Breaking Bad recently and there was a dude named Bogdan, but it was pronounced like that. I don't know, man. I'm, what, what am I talking about? Can James Harden make his way back or is it time for LaMelo to get revenge? The Grizzlies are able to sweep the Warriors. So um, Derek Rose is making his way to the conference finals. Him and Dennis Schroeder. Well, I definitely did not draft next to Derek Rose. He's just a bench player. The Lakers are getting swept. So forget vengeance. No Bruce Wayne. We're just, you know what I mean? We got James Harden going to the conference finals. I don't know what LaMelo and, and all, all of them were waffling about. And we got another, a game six win. Kevin Durant is moving on to the conference finals in a nice little series against Towns and his, uh, you know, his thunder. Ironically, you know, KD's, uh, you know, a team that exists in KD's resume. And Steph Curry versus whoever the hell is on the Hawks because I forgot. Oh, it's Luka. He just cooked Luka in game seven. It hit me like last second. Seven for 21 from Luka and 10 for 15 from Curry. 33, 12, and six. Jordan Poole had 27 points off the bench. And now our conference finals is set. We have the Grizzlies versus the Nets. So Derrick Rose versus James Harden. We, I, we've definitely seen this one in the past. Might have been last year. I can't remember. The Nets definitely have the overall roster advantage.
advantage. Brandon Ingram, uh, for some reason, PJ Tucker's a 90 overall. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of stuff. I don't know how to predict that. I drafted DeAndre Hunter for his potential and he's an 85. He's worse than PJ Tucker. It is what it is. Hornets versus Timberwolves. Steph Curry versus Kevin Durant. Do I need to say any more? We also got Julius Randle, DeJounte Murray. Cool guys. And it is 2-0 in both series. Never mind. Grizzlies go up 3-0 and the Grizzlies, Derek Rose, Cooks, James Harden. No matter who makes it out of this one, they will be playing Derek Rose and the Timberwolves win. We're going to get a battle of uh, the first pick of the, I think the 08 draft. And what was it? The eighth pick of the 08 or seventh? No, the seventh pick of the 09 draft, Mr. Steph Curry. And our draft though, in this league, I think Curry was the third pick and Derek was like, I don't know, 11th or ninth or something. Teams look pretty equal, except Julius Randle is definitely insane. And let me see who Derek Rose's team is looking like, because I don't know exactly who's actually helping him per se. Uh, Jeremy Grant, 22 points. Oh, okay. So it's actually a very well-balanced, well all around team effort. Not just Derek Rose, not averaging like 40 or something, but uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, Randall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Him and Curry are averaging like the same points. Randall is the one who's really in the team still somehow. I don't know how they're getting away with that. Wolves are going to barely win game one. I mean, I would say I'm, I'm it's a 15 point win, but they scored 133 points for God's sake. I think Curry is going for his second ring here, him and Mr. Randall. Although, you know, that is true. I could go with the finals MVP joke again as they're going to win another game, 139 and 118. I think this Curry team is just too good. I mean, it's not like they're winning every year or something, but against this Rose team, Derek looks like the true underdog here. Let's see though. He, he's starting to go up this game, cooking him this game. 138, 116 win. Rashawn Holmes, we needed his 23 points. Another win by the Grizzlies. Jeremy Grant, 33 points. Rose, 27 and 14. Bam had a triple double. Maybe the defense, you know, I did draft a pretty solid defensive team over here in Memphis and well, Vucevic, 5 for 14 and Melton, 5 for 13. We've seen those guys sell out alive in, alive in uh, film, in action or whatever, in 4K. But as I would expect, the Timberwolves are going to win the next game. They're going to come back. 36 from Randall and Curry, 36 apiece. The greatest duo of all time, Julius Randall and Stephen Curry. Who would have thought? Me. I, I definitely would have thought. And that is it. The Timberwolves are going to defeat Derrick Rose. Valiant effort to win two games in the series, but uh, 26 and 14 is not enough. Randall's 21 points is going to lead them to the ring, and Julius Randall wins his second finals MVP. I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's happening. He was top 10 in playoff scoring, and he played more games than anybody. Let's see. What teams do you think could potentially have a comeback in these last... I feel like Zion's team is probably cooked. They're, they've been way too garbage. I don't know why they're so garbage, but they're garbage all right. Westbrook, 32 and 11 to win his third MVP of the simulation. Dennis Schroeder, we saw him last year, bro. Dennis Schroeder, a dude who, I mean, should, at least should have won a six man of the year in real life. I don't think he did with the OKC that one year, but uh, hey, Isaac DPOY, okay. That's a, uh, uh, who is the Bulls? Oh, that's Chris Paul's team. It took me a second. Yeah, yeah, that's Chris Paul's team. And Chris Finch, 55 wins. So that's gotta be the Timberwolves. Oh yeah, and that's not surprising. That's Steph. Zion Williamson, all NBA first team, but his numbers aren't much better than normal. It's just Zion being Zion. Randall second team and uh, LeBron third team. Jesus Christ. Also, no sign of Durant, I don't think. Not a sign, not a not a cent. Timberwolves, the best team in the league this year, but they are tied with the 76ers, former champions. Russell Westbrook's back again. Jokic is back again, looking for vengeance. The Raptors are back. Uh, Paul George, I mean, or at least they're here for maybe the first time this high up. The Rockets, there you go. Houston was just a bottom three team in the league last year. Now this year, somehow, some way, this team is all of a sudden the top six team in the league. And now let's go look at the bottom just to see if anybody's still oh wow lebron's team is at the bottom now and and uh th this rudy gobert uh scotty barnes Devin booker team this team is yeah they're, they're cooked the nuggets they're also yeah no you guys it i mean maybe next year is your year we saw how the other team went i don't know who i really could have drafted over blake griffin and zach i feel like that was a pretty solid thought process and obviously defense isn't hurting that curry team too much because i know they probably i mean they have uh they don't really have the craziest defenders curry vucevic like i don't think it'd be the defense jordan pools on the best defenders oh, i don't know what's good with that one team bro season leaders westbrook's in points by far by two at least and then uh Jokic in rebounds he dethrones dwight howard assist rondo three one percentage patty mills and wait i didn't say zion was at the bottom right they at least improve a little bit oh uh, okay that's that's all right okay i guess here we go simulate kings are out of here rockets hawks raptors bulls jazz magic i don't really none of those names struck a nerve the rockets though after their little valiant effort to make it back into contention they get bounced in five games by kevin durant even though they were the higher seed now we got the Lakers versus the Grizzlies at Derrick Rose versus this uh, Lakers team that's made it to the finals a few years, you know, with Klay Thompson and um, LaMelo Ball. Oh yeah, speaking of that, I don't know, just the way I doubled back to say the roster again, reminded me of this guy who said, seeing I'm click tweet reminded me about the time he shouted out all of his blind viewers. Hi, it's me. Thanks for describing the game parts of Sims so well. Shout out to you, Ahmad. That was a few days ago. That, that was dope. Oh, we got another Westbrook versus Harden matchup. Danny Green going lock up Brandon Ingram. Come on now, Danny. And DeAndre 
a 96 overall. I think the real question with DeAndre Aiden in real life and the reason why he's not getting signed so quickly is it's like, do you think he could be Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic, uh, Carl Towns even? He could probably be Towns, but I, them other two are a little bit different. I mean, even Towns averaged like 25 points on 40% from three. Uh, next up, we got Giannis versus Melo. They got Ben Simmons guarding Giannis, hopefully clamping him up too. They could throw Drew Holiday on Cade Cunningham. Steph Curry versus DeJounte Murray and Kev oh wait, it's Steph Curry versus Durant again. It's this matchup. Here we go. Lakers lose. So they, the Lakers lost to Derrick Rose. The Nets lost to Russell Westbrook. So James Harden loses to Westbrook. Oh snap, we had two game sevens. Well, it was a 20 point loss in this one as Giannis, you haven't seen him make it all the way there yet. I feel like he has a pretty good supporting cast. I, Tyrese Maxey was the dude who needed, yeah, I mean, he's playing solid. Averaging like 20 points. Jaron Jackson, two, 14 maybe. Eh. Guess he doesn't have a second like 20 point score. I mean, Maxey's almost there though. And this game seven was only a four point win by the Charlotte Hornets over Steph Curry. They will not be going back to back. Kevin Durant makes it to the conference finals again. And it's KD versus Russ and Carmelo Anthony versus Derrick Rose. Wow. Two former sets of former teammates. Two former sets of former teammates. Doesn't make sense. That, that, that That's redundant. Two to two in both series. Three to two. Come on. Show. Oh, three. Okay. Okay. The Grizzlies lose. Carmelo Anthony and Cade Cunningham and them. They're going to make their way back to the, the finals. We have a game seven between Russ and KD. Who will win? Take your guess mentally. Westbrook has won all these MVPs and KD has barely even made it far in the playoffs within this whole simulation. And it is going to continue. Kevin Durant will not be seeing the finals. Westbrook wins with 46 and 13 while Kevin Durant. 19, 8, and 6. I think we know who won the matchup. Cavaliers versus 76 is in the finals. Two former champions. Westbrook and his just A, his serviceable supporting cast with DeAndre Aiden against Melo and Cade Cunningham and Ben Simmons and Lance Stevenson. But that serviceable supporting cast, you know what I'm saying? Because like a lot of these teams in the league, sure, they don't have the craziest like, oh, third and fourth or fifth best options. But either this Web Westbrook and he's doing just fine with it. Simply be better. Oh my God, bro. He had, the team had 168 points. Westbrook had 41, 14, and 16. Nas Reed had 27. Aiden had 26. Danny Green, 22. Tobias, 22. And Pat Beverly, 8. Armello dropped 37, but it wasn't enough because they got outscored by 30. Aiden might get dropped off to an all-time level. I'm not going to lie. It's looking like Westbrook's putting on a masterclass. Or maybe I just jinxed it because this one's close. All right, here it is. We got our matchup. Game 2. Westbrook won game 1 convincingly. This one is a much more low-scoring game compared to the last one, at least. And Cade's taking it to the basket against Westbrook. Right out to Mello. Wide open for 3 to take a 5-point lead. But, you know, we've seen Russ hit some crazy shots, so let's see what he does on the other end. Westbrook all the other way. Oh, the behind the back of the close shot. Awful shot. I'm not going to... That was disgusting. Simmons down the other way on his fast break. You know, he thrives in the fast break situation. He throws down to a mismatch here with a... What the hell are they doing? I don't know. Simmons cannot shoot that three. It will never develop. So he sets the screen or gets the screen from Montrez Harold. Makes his way to the basket. The pump fake. Pass it down to Montrez. Montrez layup is good. Step through layup by Montrez. If there's anything he's good at, it's finishing. And that's really it, actually. Westbrook, the half spin pump fakes it throws it out to Nas Reed for three holy hell his his three-point shot must have went crazy and they are not fouling so they have given up because they're only down by seven and the Sixers are just straight up running their offense Ben Simmons to the basket oh my Kate is wide open for three they sold they sold bad it is going to be a tied one-to-one -one series Cade Lance Stevenson and Ben Simmons all dropped 20 plus Melo only had 11 and he barely even shot shows the depth of this team Cade Cunningham 47 points to take the win 158 133 this is a blowout in favor of the 76ers after the other one in favor of the Cavs. This is a, they got no type of defense in this game. Holy hell. By the way, Pat Beverage is Lance Stevenson's a really funny matchup. Cavs win another one. Props to Westbrook. Recorded a triple double, bro. We get it. We, we get it. Another win? Oh, oh, what just happened? Christian Wood game winner off the Ben Simmons assist. My God. Danny Green, three point shot made. Made a little comeback or whatever. Wait, I don't know what just happened. Wait, the, what? Oh, they're stupid. Danny Green hit the game winner and Christian Wood shot a two point shot. You idiot. Game six. Cavs on the verge of winning the ring. This is one of the most, you know, competitive finals matchups we had yet. Two teams with already multiple finals appearances before this matchup. And the Sixers just came back in the last few seconds. They were down and then Laurie Markkinen hit a shot. Lance Stevenson hit a three. Christian Wood hit a two. And Lance Stevenson hit two free throws. The most unlikely, you know, people that do any of anything, honestly. And uh, Ben Simmons or my bad, they just said Simmons stars. I, I didn't see what the hell he did. But all I know is it's game seven. We're in a game seven. And wow, look at this fourth quarter that the Sixers are cooking. It was just tied two seconds ago and now the Sixers are going to run away with it and Carmelo Anthony and Cade Cunningham are going to win their second championship against a valiant effort you know from Russell Westbrook although 7 for 19 isn't that bad I, I, I'll, I'll let him rock but two players shooting you know 8 and 7 for 19 is kind of bad especially one being your center and 4 for 11 2 for 7 oh why is Devontae Graham in the rotation Hodge Gibbs is in the rotation too go Cade shot 5 for 15 Melo shot 4 for 15 and it was still a pretty high
high scoring game. Cade Cunningham, finals MVP again. It's his league. Forget Zion. Sorry, Zion. And Westbrook far and away led the league in a playoff scoring as well. Probably needed just a little bit more from him in this game. Like a, like a, literally a 40 ball. I mean, I mean, that's how they got here in the first place. He's averaging 33, 35. My bad. Russell Westbrook, another one for MVPs. Isaac DPOI again. Dennis Schroeder is still Hemi and Steve Nash. Oh yeah, that's, that's probably still Brooklyn. I did turn on the automatic staff stuff so that players, I mean, teams could fire coaches if they suck as LeBron's still averaging 25 and nine and seven and when makes the first team. I mean, those are good enough numbers to make it to the finals. I mean, it's not like it's, you know what I'm saying? Kevin Love's averaging that kind of, and he's been, you know, praised this entire video. Zion's second team, and he averaged even better numbers than last year. Maybe this is finally the year they made the playoffs. And Marcus Gasol, all NBA third. I'm looking straight for the Trailblazers. I'm not going to lie. Portland, Portland, Portland. Oh my God. Awful again. Just mid, just mid. I don't, I didn't think this team was this bad. I thought this team was pretty cool. 28 wins again in Miami too, bro. Like Jesus Christ. Jalen Green and Bradley Beal should have been a cool little scoring duo. It's like a fake Damon CJ plus Draymond who only averages nine, but screw it. I mean, that's, that's, you know, you just need to play some defense, bro. I don't know. At four nineties and they don't even sniff 30 wins. Westbrook again, the best score in the league. Bunch of players tied for rebounds. Really just Gasol in love. And then Rondo again, an assist next to Harden. Kevin Herter, best three point shooter, but Kevin Durant is right behind him. And Otto Porter and Cam Johnson and uh, Trey Young. Everybody's real efficient out here. Brooklyn and Chicago are the top two seeds. Hawks are out here. KD gets eliminated. He was the 16th seed, I think. Bucks are gone. I'm drawing a blank. Rockets, 76ers, Wizards. Hold on. 76ers lose to Detroit in the first round. That's AD. AD was able to defeat in game seven. Holy hell, yo. We had uh, four game seven and four game sevens in the first round. Cade Cunningham, Carmelo Anthony, Ben Simmons, and them lose to De'Aaron Fox, Jalen Brown, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Anthony Davis. And then this game seven over here, the Suns, Dwight Howard, and Isaiah Thomas defeat this Rockets team who's actually starting, you know, coming to contention now, finally. I mean, contention, playoff contention, I guess. And Donovan Mitchell only had, I think this is Donovan, yeah, nine points on two for eight shooting in game seven. My God, a dude who's usually pretty good at playoff performances. Another great game seven, the Jazz defeat the Thunder. That's just a good matchup, honestly. Kevin Love defeats Carl, Carl Towns. And then the second seed versus the, the 15th seed, Chicago, Chris Paul, Anthony Edwards. Okay. My plan is finally coming to fruition. They did defeat Giannis, which kind of sucks because I like Giannis, but they defeat Giannis and um, they were the second seed. We haven't seen them that high up ever. And now we got the Suns versus the Jazz. Isaiah Thomas is a 97 overall. Dwight's a 96, but Kevin Love is a 99. Raptors versus Cavaliers. Paul George, Jalen Suggs, Kemba Walker versus Westbrook, Aiden Harris. I haven't seen Paul George, I don't think, ever make the second round in this whole video. Maybe once. Harden is back and he's playing this AD led team that just beat the reigning champions. And the Kings versus the Bulls. Chris Paul versus Mike Conley and Kawhi. So we're getting a lot of new people around that could potentially become the champion or Westbrook could just win again. The Jazz just got 4-1. So uh, the Suns are moving on to the second round. That is Dwight and Isaiah back to the conference finals. I think they made it once. The Raptors and the Pistons. Pistons lose to Brooklyn. So James Harden is back in the conference finals. I don't think he's, he did win a ring. He bodied one of them championship years. And the Raptors, you know, they have Paul George and Kemba, but Westbrook is different. This is light work. I'm not going to lie. They did only win by one in game six though, but hey. And game six over here, tied up. Now it's game seven. The Kings, Kawhi Leonard forces it. I'm actually kind of interested in this one. Chris Paul versus Kawhi. Two of the most, you know, just kind of get to their spots, take their nice little shots, do the right thing on the basketball court type of players ever. And they do it in a dominant fashion. Just real conservative basketball players. 45 seconds left. The Bulls are up by three. Nobody is at the line and the Kings have the ball so they can come back right here, right now. Kawhi's team has it. He's wearing number 43, but who cares? They pass it into Kawhi. Kawhi back out to Crowder. Crowder over to Markel Fultz. Fultz to the basket, down to Kawhi for the layup and it's blocked away. I don't even know who that was, but that's Steven Adams. Steven Adams, hold on, pause the game. You know what? No, keep it going. Don't, don't mess up the flow here. Uh, Anthony Edwards. Edwards, the layup. He throws it out for no reason. Oh my God, he had the layup. Maybe he was scared of Kawhi. Anthony Edwards isn't scared. What am I talking about? He trash talking dudes in movies. And Steven Adams, the dunk. That was Steven Adams on the block and he dunks it on the other end. And Steven Adams' block on Kawhi. Holy hell, he went up and snatched it. Not snatched it. Smacked it off the glass with two hands. Blocked that like he was, uh, actually, matter of fact, blocked that shot kind of kind of like how Kawhi blocked the shot against Harden a few years ago. Actually, no, it was only with one hand, but it, it was emphatic though. Holy hell. Kawhi had the wide open lane, took the layup, and oh my God, you could hear it loud as hell on the replay. I think that might be the meanest block I've seen all year. No lie. I don't think I've seen a block off the backboard like that in, in a long time. And Steven Adams has saved Chris Paul and the Bulls. It's a team effort. I don't mean to word it like that. You know, all love is the Brooklyn way, except Brooklyn, well, they're in the playoffs still. Let's see if the Kings got anything left in the bag. We got Mike Conley. Okay. The pass into Kevin Porter over to Kawhi. Kawhi's in a force of three over Edwards. It's good. They have to foul. Crowd is real silent right now. And Norm 
Norman Powell's gonna get be the one that gets fouled. He's probably gonna make both because you know everybody's like a 90 overall now. And he's a good shooter. Norman, the first one is in, and the second one is off. Norman Powell hits all front rim. Kawhi brings it up the other way. He has no sort, no sense of urgency, by the way. And Mike Conley just shot the worst three of all time, way off. What was he thinking? Mike Conley, who was on crack? I don't understand. Yo, you just saw Stephen Adams block Kawhi, and you gonna pull this shot like you, Steph? Hell no. You might be good, bro, but Jesus Christ. And Al Horford, yo, Al Horford's screen didn't even connect, bro. You were still, oh my God, that was stupid. Otherworldly levels of stupid from the Kings here. Chris Paul getting his MVP chance, and Kawhi might end up ringless at this rate. If his, I mean, my God, I, I drafted Mike Conley to be a good, smart person on the on the perimeter, and he just sold their chances. And oh man, Kawhi passed to Al, back to Mike Conley for three. It's off, and that is it. The Bulls will move on. Edwards had 38 points. My vision is coming true. He's in, what did I say, like 80 times? said he oh he'd become a 93 to a 95 he's a 93 averaging 27 in the playoffs and chris paul also averaging 27 the duo is crazy i feel like they, they would have been they would be a mean duo not in real life now but like prime, imagine if prime chris paul really had like another elite score not named blake griffin who could just dunk back in those days cavaliers versus bulls we got chris paul versus russell westbrook um i don't i can't even recall their beef right now because i'm blanking but they have to have beef it's chris paul and russell westbrook for god's sake and jay sean tate is starting but who cares yo th their team honestly is pretty mid it's really just paul and edwards oh they have isaac off the bench right now that's the dpoi i don't think he wanted this year but he wanted some years and the suns versus the nets james harden versus isaiah thomas two of the top three finishers in mvp voting in 2017 then you got a former dpoi well a former mvp co contender and a current dpoi in the simulation dwight howard see what happens suns up 2-1 both teams up 2-1 now it's 2-2 on the right side 3-1 on the left 3-2 on both sides and 4-2 win by the cavaliers westbrook is hit him. Westbrook, I mean, I think, yeah, he only has one. He only won the first ring, but I think he's been there either two or three times. I don't know. He's won a bunch of MVPs is all I know. Hell, he might have missed the playoffs one year. I can't remember. We got a game seven between Harden, Isaiah Thomas, and Dwight Howard. And Isaiah Thomas and Dwight Howard are going to the finals. Dwight drops 23. They called him Superman on the social media thing on the top left. And uh, our sons crushed the Nets. So James Harden found his kryptonite. And it's, um, well, you know, I guess Isaiah. I don't know, man. Isaiah versus Westbrook. Please put Tyrese on my beg. Oh yeah, this is perfect too, because Isaiah, throw him on Pat Bev, bro. Pat Bev, he's not dropping 40. If he drops 40, I will cry. Dwight Howard versus DeAndre Aiden is also a pretty cool matchup. This is a perfect, perfect series, minus Isaiah's short height, short stature. But it's not like that matters in 2K anyways, let's be honest. Oh, I'm not gonna lie though. Okay, it doesn't matter in simulation. It don't matter if I jump into this game in two seconds. But the Suns are holding on to it. Aiden missed a free throw, you bum. Screw it, 116 left. It's a five point game. I don't care who's up or who has the ball. The Cavs have the ball. They got their own offensive rebound. That's what happens when you play Aiden and Looney together. Kavon. Dang, this is an awful space lineup for Westbrook. He throws it into Russ. Russ steps back, takes the jump shot. He misses. Rebound by Aiden and Aiden gets... Oh, he loses the ball. Back out. Beverly blocked by Tyrese. Tyrese. Oh my god, he can't pick it up. There's no backcourt. He almost went backcourt though. Isaiah trying to guard Westbrook and oh my god. Yo, the defense is crazy right now. Dwight Howard with the block. He recovers over. I think he was guarding Looney, so it's not like he could pass out to him anyways. He can shoot a mid-range maybe. They used to call him the, the next Kevin Durant. And the pass into Danny Green wide open the beautiful screen set for Danny Green off the ball zoom out real quick look at this they freed the hell up out of Danny Green and John Collins did not recover well he didn't pick up I mean uh what's his name Tyrese ain't recovered it's a three-point game all that defensive effort for nothing almost stole the ball like four times Isaiah Thomas you know oh wow he has Tyrese with the ball Tyrese now throws it over to Hart Josh Hart running the pick and roll with Dwight Howard I mean just get the ball to Dwight and you'll be all right or not Josh Hart oh my god yeah he got the ball to Dwight all right missed the layup and Dwight Howard rises up for the putback five point lead for the suns in game one in westbrook he's got another look at the mid-range shot that one is good that is his shot i mean normally the pull up but you know just any stupid looking mid-range shot is russell's shot they're not gonna foul they're up by three the suns that is and the Cavs are gonna play straight up defense isaiah up the other way goes between the legs to the basket all the way brings it back out thomas it looks like a screen is coming from john collins i don't know why it wouldn't be dwight but isaiah the fadeaway three is off and the Cavs get a rebound with seven seconds left you needed dwight in that pick and roll i don't know why you put John Collins there. A bad decision by probably Monty Williams is still the coach or not actually. Their coach is Willie Green. They stole Willie Green. Willie Green used to be an assistant coach for them too. So he's back on the bench and Looney is passing it in. Now that's not a good idea because he can't shoot but into Danny Green in the corner and he misses it. Isaiah Thomas will dribble out the ball and get fouled and that is it. The Suns take game one of the finals. Oh my god yo Isaiah would have just clean landed this punch on Westbrook right here if he didn't duck down. Look at look at Westbrook. Hold on. Oh my what is going on? Zoom in. Look at this punch by Isaiah. Yo, Isaiah would 
to cook this man was he going for it i mean my god look at this screen yo this looks insane nah someone take this yo all right no whenever i say someone take a screenshot someone sends me it on twitter there you go there that's the one for the day hey, he bought a sock westbrook but the hey float like a butterfly bro hey he, he, he dodged the hell out of it now they're dapping up like that didn't just happen holy hell westbrook shot 11 for 34 <laughs> that's this is an insane game he said give me the ball and hey you know what you got to commend westbrook for this bro i wish braun was shooting like this braun over there sitting in the in the what's it called on the off season sitting on his couch hasn't even been in contention for a ring even kd's made the conference finals a couple times braun has made it out of the first round i'm about to go edit, edit his tendencies trying to figure out something i don't know and here goes westbrook it's working this game his all the shot attempts work he drops 44 12 and 14 on 14 for 27 shooting john collins had almost 40 points and to be fair we also haven't seen Giannis make it to the conference finals those were like the top two picks in the draft so um yeah might have to add in a draft class one of these years you know this might be the year 129 119 and the Cavs are gonna win another game Westbrook 51 points on less shots in the last game he had 26 free throws and they're up 2-1 but a win by the Suns a nearly a 20 15 point win we'll just say that defeats Westbrook despite his 46 and 11 he is having an all-time final performance right now I'm not gonna lie this is better than his last one even all we need is for a player to drop 60 actually matter of fact someone has had to have dropped 60 by now right we have too much talent in this league okay Cavs win another game to go up I think 3-1 or 2-2 I don't know 3-2 I mean uh Aiden and Westbrook combined for 60 plus actually 70 plus it is a 3-2 lead for the Cavaliers shout out to all the people in Cleveland you got uh, you don't got much else to look forward to and that is it Russell Westbrook is gonna take down the you know a nice little run by the Phoenix Suns but when you go to buy a 5-9 man you simply are you know you got to take advantage of that 44 13 and 14 Westbrook in this actually you know what let me just see him win finals MVP real quick I was about to look at his stats individually but no he dropped 40 again he averaged 44 10 and 11 he earned the hell out of this finals MVP and this championship winning his second ring I ain't never seen him act like this before 36 points in the playoffs per game hey look at Chris Middleton real real nice I, I almost said valiant again but I've been saying it too much let me look at the bottom of the barrel real quick right Miami Denver Clippers I'm not gonna lie some of these teams I don't know if they deserve help though like you guys should just simply get better Chris Paul's team was down there for a while too how many years do we got left holy hell that was already year eight I mean I've been recording for four hours but you know screw it I'm not gonna lie I was about to add in some rookies but I'm tired of these guys no I, I like the league as it is if you want to win then win screw all of you take your 40 overalls and have a nice day look at Westbrook dog he's got one secondary star one dude who hey, averages 22 but you know he's a 91 there's just a bunch of mid around here and a bunch of big men and Devontae Graham off the bench like bro you want to win win bro so Westbrook again it's his league and we're living in it Doc Rivers 58 wins 76 is are cool all nba teams we're used to all these by now zion's probably oh my god the blazers are in the playoffs they did it i just randomly spotted them they did it portland 43 wins zion has finally arrived it took eight years nine actually westbrook averaged 33 9 and 11 with um oh, my bad I'm, I'm just reading off his stat line like no it's supposed to be okay most points is westbrook most of rebounds is kevin love most assists is james harden jay crowd is good at shooting threes but so is Melo. dang jay crowder shot six threes a game how many points he averaged 13 my god not a lot I, I i thought i mean i guess all of his shots are threes yeah let's see what happens i'm just trying to get to the second round honestly we on the home stretch and are the are the what's it called blazers gonna win i'm waiting to see they lost in seven zion was so close but lost to lillard everything else bro i don't i'm coasting at this point we expect i, I think durant is playing uh westbrook but first and foremost let's talk about damian lillard versus paul george oh man steph curry versus james harden john wall and jason tatum tatum was has been on all nba teams before all this type of stuff we haven't seen them actually contending and trevor reese is also an 86 now i remember he, when he was a 78 and westbrook versus durant ah yes here we go simulate the round spurs are out of here nets are out of here raptors and hornets kd loses again to russ in the seventh game he tried a little bit harder in this one but he still lost by 12 steph curry able to defeat james harden both of them got some rings on their fingers i think curry has two and harden has one the raptors lose so uh damian load is moving on to the conference finals i think for the first time in the video and the spurs get swept by Carmelo Anthony and company. So now you already know. We got Russell Westbrook versus Steph Curry again, probably. They had to have faced off at this point, right? And Lillard, Aldridge, and Mobley are here. To try and make their impact, but I'm not gonna lie, this Sixers team is insane. Wow, they won the first game. Wait, uh, that might have meant nothing. Yeah, no, they're about to lose. Uh, 
By the way, we got to address the other series and holy hell, they are in a game seven, but the Timberwolves just swept the Cavaliers. Russell Westbrook averaged 36 in the playoffs as usual, but he got swept. See so who wins his game seven. Does Damian Lillard guide him? Is it, is it Dame time? Christian Wood at the line with 136 left. This is once again, this is the conference finals to make it to the finals, but seeing Dame for the first time and uh, I see Anthony Simons in, but Dame should be. Oh, there he goes. Hey, there ain't no foul outs. Remember, this is my league and I turn them off. OG Ananobi throws it into Lillard. Got the two lanky big men out there and uh, Lillard's going to take it all the way and dunk on Lance Stevenson. My God, puts Lance on a poster. Sorry, Anthony. I see you open in the corner, but we don't care. Cade Cunningham back up the other way. Lillard not known for his defense. He's playing okay as of right now. Cade, the layup is off. Rebound by Aldridge. Throws it up to Mobley. Evan on the break, taking it with the, you know, the dribble drive and he's going to throw it out to Simon. Simon's back to Mobley. Over to Aldridge. He's going to hand it off to Lillard. Lillard gets double teamed. Throws it down to Aldridge for the easy layup. The connection. The Portland connection. Cunningham to the basket. The layup. He throws it out to Lance. Lance couldn't catch it in time. 55 seconds. Tied game. Hand off to Simmons. Simmons are setting off ball screens for Melo. He has room from three and Carmelo Anthony will hit it. I don't know who to root for. I love both. I like these teams a lot. I mean, I'm rooting. You know, I'm rooting for the Warriors. They're probably going to lose now that I said that. Simons for three. Anthony, that's an awful shot, bro. That's an awful shot. And someone is wide. Oh my God. They didn't pass it to him, but Lance Stevenson was wide open. Pass over to Melo. Melo down to Simmons. Simmons with Simons on him. Oh man, what a, what a matchup. And Simmons, the pump fake, the layup is good. And it is a five point lead with 28 seconds left. Here we go. Lillard, you got it in you. He's got the ball. He's going left. He throws it over to OG. OG to the basket. Down to Aldridge. Aldridge, an awful shot, but he gets fouled. Let's see if the Sixers somehow mess this up or if Aldridge is at the line. Lamarcus hits both. Sixers inbounding the ball. They have a timeout, but they don't seem to need it. Cade's going to get fouled. MVP chance, dog. You can't miss free throw. He missed it. Okay, hold on. This game's still interesting. He missed the first free throw. The second one is also off. Cade Cunningham selling out with the MVP chance. Roaring on. Lillard up the other way. Lillard gets double team over to Mobley for three, and he missed it. It was a good look from Evan Mobley to tie the game. The dude is like a 95 overall. He has to have a solid three-point shot. Honestly, I'm going to check it right now. 93-point shot, and he misses that three to tie the game, potentially give them a finals chance. Instead, the six is going to keep on trudging on. Pass up to OG, over to Aldridge, back to OG, and he gets blocked on the three by Melo. Oh, yeah, you're cooked. Pass into the corner. Simon's actually a good shot, and he airballed it. Oh, my God. Ben Simmons back in Philly. Melo and Cade Cunningham. As they, I don't think this year they ever have shown me the actual celebration. They just kind of show you the confetti on the floor. Great glitch game. Mobley shot all of his shots from three-point range, yet he missed that one. He had all the warming up in the world. And the Warriors have been eliminated, so we now have a Steph Curry and 76. Have they played yet? I feel like they have. Oh my god. Wait, I don't think they have. The Timberwolves and 76ers have yet to play in the finals, and they're the two teams with the most rings. Well, them and them in Westbrook. I didn't even look at the matchups. We already know these teams good and well, and uh, the Timberwolves win game one. Julius Randle had 39. The Sixers and Wolves, the greatest series of all time, the pinnacle of my universe. Probably because Westbrook doesn't have teammates, especially because it's Steph Curry versus Melo. I mean, I think I've said this before, but Steph Curry and Melo, the two players that got me in the ball. I mean, them, JR. Is Melo guarded by DeAnthony Melton right now? Stop it. Just stop. Get some help. Melo just, yo, he cooked him. Yo, <laughs> where, where, where is my, where, what are you doing? Give that guy a map. Where is he? I don't understand what the thought process was there. Oh my, did he just bully him after he made it too? Look at this. Look at this. Why after he made it, he just went ahead and pushed DeAnthony Melton for no reason. Like, bro, you made the layup. Like, bro, you made the soup. It's like that ratatouille scene with the food critic, except you try out your own soup and the soup is trapped or the soup is, nah, it wasn't someone else. So it was, it, oh, what a pass to Ben Simmons down low. But he, I mean, what is he going to do? Shoot? Montrez, Harold isolation back to Ben. Ben in the screen. With my, this is awful. This is awful right here. I'm not going to lie. This is the worst thing we've done in years. What? Sadiq Bey picks up his sixth foul. And that's the first time we see the foul outs not mattering because, well, you don't foul out in this game. Ben Simmons at the line. The free throw is good. He could hit free throws. And now it's a tied game. 123 left. Steph Curry up the other end. Curry all the way back out to Randall for three. And that is good. The contested three by Julius. Remember I played with Julius in 2K, which hasn't happened a lot this year. Maybe last year. He always does this stupid salt bay thing whenever he makes shots like this right here. What what the hell? This is a little, I ain't never seen this man do this in real life. Oh my, Mello. What a pass down low to Cade. Cade pump fakes it, hits the layup. One point deficit. Curry. Oh my God. What awful defense, but great help by Mello to at least foul. He's got seven. See, that's why we don't need foul outs in this league. Come on, dog. Vucevic able to hit both. Three point deficit and Minnesota's up in the series. So you guys kind of need this or you're going to be in a bit of a, you know, a bit of a hole. Mello the screen by Wood. Mello goes right. He's going to go all the way. Easy layup by Anthony. Hurry up to the left. Steps back. Passed it out to Randall. Randall over to Bay. Sadiq Bay, you know, the prodigy of this team. The young 
the young dog and he's gonna make his way to the basket out to melton for three and that is good melton makes it a four point lead 28 seconds left and the F philly's probably done for for this one cade cunningham the spin to the rim okay ben can't shoot so great pass back to mellow mellow for three with room he's gonna make it a one point game are you let the dog get that open i don't know ben simmons can be stealing inbound pass for me real quick nope all right wiggins probably gonna make both they're gonna have one more chance to tie this one up and in the most of these scenarios in this video specifically we have seen teams selling when it comes to late game potential tying shot opportunities except for harden harden was cooking that one game wiggins hits both let's see what the sixers do with this opportunity will they give ben simmons a shot that's the only thing that could possibly be worse than what we've seen so far Cade, oh wait yeah he hit one earlier but he misses and mellow gets the board mellow layup is good mellow takes the easy one to go back up with it and they're gonna pass it into curry one second wasted off the clock in that little sequence but yeah we saw Cade hit a game winner earlier actually against Lamelo. and here goes curry missing the second free throw seven seconds left they got the fast break ben simmons is on a slow break i don't know what he's doing three seconds Cade all the way he dunks oh he missed the dunk Cade cunningham missed the game tying dunk against vucevic you gotta be kidding me You're run it back wait i don't think we can run it back no yeah no because he missed <laughs> run it back a miss come on oh my god Cade cunningham folded that might be the worst thing we've seen yet i'm not gonna lie did, did uh, vucevic get a block for that maybe then we could see it i think he just missed yeah no this is just a layup over and over again oh my god curry shot 11 for 12 cage had 11 for 21 with 33 and 10 mellow had 34 and 10 curry at 30 this is a this is a hardwood classic right here tim wolves up 2-0 off the cade cunningham blunder if they lose this in seven games that is an awful look cade though 35 11 and 12 to make up for that one miss another win to tie it up 2-2 okay we've made it out of the mud there's two super teams in this video these are the two and they're uh, head to head and the six is going to take three straight ben simmons leads the team with 23 points but the tim wolves are going to tie it up i'm telling you if they lose this next game bro kate is going to be pissed for eternity he pulled like a fake i, I was about to say a jr smith no jr jr is otherworldly and the sixes are running away with it philadelphia this is for you the most championships in this video thus far at least uh tim wolves could tie it up next year but 121 110 win carmelo had 20 14 and 10 kate 30 ben simmons 30 alex crusoe 9 pretty decent scoring game nothing too crazy curry had 30 randall had 24 and 11 and that is it Cade cunningham wins his third finals mvp of the video this could have been you zion this could have been you job but i guess not bro was an 84 overall at the start of this and it's over i mean it's not over that that playoff run is over i almost accidentally let good players into the draft hell no travis blake welcome back to the league for the 10th time that you'll be retiring after one season and um this is the last year i planned on going for 10 the decade is over let's see what happens i'm rooting for russell russell westbrook is my favorite player this simulation i'm rooting for him russell westbrook mvp for i think like the eighth time let's look at it this is the last year anyways seventh time i'll be honest i didn't expect my you know created universe to have russell westbrook as the best player of it but screw it control what you can control jonathan isaac dpoi doc rivers coach of the year to be fair i mean i i do i would i uh would i have wanted zion's team to be better i don't know maybe he'll get his ring this year but i mean we see you dominating every single normal simulation so screw you i guess you know we've seen julius randall be good and win rings we've seen mellow be good in win rings we've seen steph curry do good in win rings lonzo made the all nba third team averaging 20 and 11 21 and 11 and lamello did the same right next to him 57 and 25 record for the 76ers who is on the kings mike conley and Kawhi, second best team let's see this is the final year and let's just look over who who is selling okay tim wolves are back let's just see who the sellouts are of the year jimmy butler's team man you guys were like first a few years ago but you've never made it back to thunder could never make it all the way ad's team was solid enough honestly they, they exceeded my expectations i'll be honest i mean yes and no yes and no pelicans bro i don't think they've made the playoffs like once this is a fantastically built team like i i mean maybe i don't know man i feel like this should have worked out better hey sucks maybe you guys should have just i don't know been good wizards same with you same old you know what i'm saying no Giannis, uh, you know, deep playoff runs or whatever i feel like everybody's pretty equal here you even got an 87 overall mo bamba and thomas bryant and zeke nanaji and ben mclemore the nuggets oh yeah you guys were a lost cause you did win a decent amount of games this year though the grizzlies oh we, we saw you guys make it to the finals shout out to Derek or something like that lakers missed the playoffs this year the blazers holy hell i don't want to talk about you anymore the pacers i don't want to talk about you anymore either but what am i talking about they're, they're not they're on the way what am i talking about they're, i'm just hating they weren't that bad I, that was just an auto response and the knicks jesus christ lebron i'm not gonna lie i went back in like this season and changed his tendencies and he's still garbage i don't know how you make a player shoot more except for giving him better shot tendencies someone let me know love to be informed love learning garbage 2k logic the heat also failed me just another team i really saw as prodigious and 
and they've done nothing. The Celtics, honestly, I really don't care. I tried, bro. I, I decided that, you know, you needed some defense around Trey Young and you guys are benching Mikhail Bridges. That's your fault. That's not me. I guess they're not that good, but you know, maybe, maybe they could have used somebody else. And same with the Mavericks. You know, the moral of the story is a uh, screw defense. Yeah. That's it. He's got a team with Melo leading the team as one of the best. Melo and Montrez Harrell at center. Jesus Christ. Although Westbrook's teams have like nothing but defense, really. And DeAndre Aiden. The final season league leaders. You got Harden actually in points, surpassing Westbrook. Rebounds is Jokic. Harden in assists. Robert Williams. We don't care. And Mikael Bridges in three-point percentage off the bench because they're dumb. Here we go. The final countdown. The Hawks are out of here. The Bucks, the Kings, the Warriors, the Raptors, the Spurs, the Suns, and the Rockets. Any upsets? I'm not going to go through. Okay, Raptors. Raptors lost to the Jazz, but that's never an upset. That's Kevin Love. And the Kings, the second seed, lose to, to Kevin Durant, trying to make another run in it. Kawhi Leonard loses to Durant. The Nets are out of here. The Hornets are out of here in five games each. So never mind. Forget his run. Jokic, though, he's still trying to make his. Harden loses to uh, Steph Curry again. Think about when I drafted this this Timberwolves team, right? You, you probably looked at this team. You said, oh, this guy oh, he's, thinks he's funny or something. Put in Julius Randle next to Steph. Oh, yeah, right, huh? That's visionary things. Sorry, you wouldn't know. And Cavaliers and the 76ers lose. So Russell Westbrook will not be making a final run. He loses to a team that I think he even played in the finals, the Jazz and the Bulls. Chris Paul looking to get it. You know, he sees uh, Westbrook winning rings, Harden winning rings. He said, I want some of that. And they defeat the 76ers, the reigning champions. Or did the Wolves win? I don't I don't remember. But we have two chances at getting a new champion. It's Jokic. We know the teams by now. It's Jokic versus Steph and Chris Paul versus Kevin Love. I bet it's going to be the same finals. Oh my, wait, maybe not. The Bulls are up 3-1 in Minnesota. We have a Steph Curry versus Chris Chris Paul finals to end it all off. And also, I don't remember who I drafted as the Bulls center, but they got Alperin Sengun starting now because I know for a fact he was not the starting center that I drafted for them. It was, oh, Steven Adams. Yeah, the dude who had the greatest block in NBA history. Yep, that's right. I said it. What are you going to do about it? Wolves win the game one by uh, 12 points. Chris Paul almost had 40, but he lost. The Bulls are about to win the next one. Okay, please just win. Okay, don't make me have to jump in. Okay, 41 and 10 from Randall, but it wasn't enough to Chris Paul's 23 and 16 to tie it up. I'm rooting for you, Chris. I'm rooting for the underdog. Probably won't work. Oh yeah, it's not working. Randall a triple double in the win. Another win by the Wolves. Curry dropped 37. They keep on talking about Randall's triple doubles. Is this going to be Chris Paul's, you know, dying wish is to lose to Stephen Curry again? It only happened 82 times in real life. Couldn't have, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's over. That's it. Timberwolves have defeated the Chicago Bulls in five games. Funny because Edwards is actually playing against them, but Julius Randall had 37. Will he win another finals MVP? He does. I don't remember if Steph got one, but I don't think he did because I think this is their third ring. And at the conclusion of all of this, Russell Westbrook surprised everybody he won the first ring. Then Julius Randle and Steph Curry get one and he gets the finals MVP. Kevin Love decided to be LeBron James of the simulation. He decided to get one. James Harden cooked the Orlando Magic who were led by, I forget, honestly. I'm lost in the sauce. 76ers defeated the Lakers. That was Cade Cunningham's insane game winners over LaMelo Ball. The Timberwolves came back and cooked the Grizzlies. That was Derrick Rose making his little appearance. He had a, you know, nice two wins. Cade Cunningham again, another finals MVP, defeating Westbrook Cavaliers in seven games. Westbrook then comes back and defeats the Suns. Philadelphia then comes back and defeats the Timberwolves in seven. And now the Timberwolves are going to come back and defeat the Bulls in five. Randall had three finals MVPs. Cade had three finals MVPs. And Westbrook had two of them. Love had one. And that's it. The rest of it. Oh, and Harden had one. Harden ring was pretty cool. I'll be honest. Here's a look at the leaders in points per game and rebounds and all that type of stuff. We've said it every single year. The MVP, Westbrook got five of them. Actually six. Jokic got one and Harden got three. Rookie of the year. Well, they barely existed. Six man of the year was a lot of JaVale McGee, Dennis Schroeder, one Isaiah Stewart, and a Robert Williams. DPOI was a bunch of Jonathan Isaac, Dwight Howard, and one Giannis. They just stopped doing the most improved player. That's actually kind of funny. I didn't, I, I did not realize that. They just stopped. They said all of you are awful. Let me know how your team did that you were rooting for in this video, whether it was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey man, I don't know. Fun video. LeBron, what the hell? Zion, what the hell? Russell Westbrook, what the hell? But in a positive way. You and Patrick Beverly, the greatest pairing. You, the dynamic duo is insane. I'm starting to do to average just five points for the past 20 years and they i mean 10 years and they won two championships or three i forgot that is it thank you for watching oh one other thing actually i gotta wait i relax nba history is gonna look all types of stupid but we can look points in a playoff game has oh lillard got 61 harden drops 58 and 60 Jalen brown hit 13 threes in the playoff game so did edwards and cade you would think that oh actually wait yeah there it is russell westbrook 24 free throws made in the game second most ever i remember that game i said he had 26 free throws he could have had 26 but he uh 
uh, he only made 24. Westbrook also had, uh, what's it called? Eight steals and so did Chris Paul. And that is it. This is what would happen if I created an NBA universe. Let me know if you want to see anything similar to this. I'm breaking barriers over here. Screw it. And of course, as much as I love a good Russell Westbrook masterclass of a video, oh man, with all the hatred that's been going around, the dude won three finals MVPs with Steph Curry on his team. Let me get a JR for MVP in the comment section. They gonna think we talking about JR Smith. Sorry, JR Smith. I hope you hope you're enjoying your 4.0 GPA because this credibility, this, this, this praise is not for you. Let me get a JR for MVP. Shout out to all the people who love the long simulations and are still here. Honestly, a lot of you do. The analytics tell me. I mean, what the hell you want to see next? Subscribe to the channel. If you're still here and you aren't subscribed, you're, you're committing a crime. I'm going to call, I don't know, man. I'm going to call like the DEA or something. They'll get you eventually. And um, I'm going to get the hell up and out of here. Cut.